this video presented by the new movie Laser Team. Get tickets now at laserteamthemovie.com. Stay tuned for more info after this video. No, there's no way. Oh, oh look, it's on. I'm gypped out of a coaster here. You're not gypped. Uh, it's right. Oh. They're right over there. There you go. Yeah, it mine. just wasn't put I've got, here for I've you. I've got padding on mine. Oh, thank you. You got you what? Go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't leave well, a ring, Jack. This well, it's, it's got a nice table. We've got to take care of it. That's fine. But it's already. Condensation can escape that. Look, it's got holes in it. It's like a mesh shirt. This thing is cool. Like, it peels off and everything, and then you can wash it. Man, that is cool. It's a water bottle. It's a water bottle. It's lovely. Why, why do you need to rub a mesh around a bottle? Well, because it's, it's glass, grip, man. It's glass. If it grip, falls, I mean, it's, it's glass. glass. If it, yeah. if it falls, it doesn't one. matter. It's no, still gonna. Drinking water out of glass tastes so much better than drinking water out of plastic. It's classier. It's, it, it, it's true. It's true. Uh, it's, I'm drinking it like oh, this. Oh, that's true. I yeah. I'll do the. No. Oh, dude, and you popped it. By the way, the mesh that cage does nice. nothing if you drop it. Absolutely, it, it, it does might. absolutely nothing. Should we try it? No. Oh. See that? Did it shatter? That would have shattered if it had no mesh. That is. That is heavy, now you're getting man. a little aggressive See? with you like that. So getting getting balls I've already had one of those break. All right, what? Hey. This one in particular. Anyway, no, you can continue. I was just gonna say, say welcome to Off Topic particular. episode number seven. Today we're joined by Gavin. Oh, I thought you were gonna say your name. Well, yeah, I'm well, your host, Michael. There you go. And there's this guy, Gavin, and Jack, and Ryan's here too. And the gang's all here. I was in Jack's shot too. The Berry so I got Bros. Like a double introduction. Oh, you got twice. I did. You well, my nose twice. did. The Berry Bros made it on yeah. together. This this, uh, this this group. This is the first time this group has been on off topic, right? I think so. Yeah. This episode brought to you by Laser Team the movie. It's a movie that we made and it's coming so, out. And also Movement watches. They're all they're watches. They're right there. And I'm wearing one. I totally left mine at home today. That's okay, Jack. I, I wear the shit out of it, though. I of course, not today. Also left mine home, got to the office, turned around, and fucking went back home. That's it's like at the fucking front door. That makes or sense. At the gate, and I had to drive back. But nice. I did pre... I, I reheated the kolaches I brought in. Uh, in the microwave that's conveniently located in Soundcheck. There were kolaches? There were kolaches. I, I, I think just all of you too. found out after the fact, because... <laughs> so who only, is that to eat them, Jeremy? Yeah. Lil J was there. Jeff's no it's um, We've got we've got a guest in town right now. We can, we can talk about Malik? him, right? Yeah. yeah, we can talk about Malik. So I, we have Malik from so. Nerdist. He's hanging out with us for a couple days. So we got yeah. some for him. Filmed a couple videos with mm -hmm. him. Filmed one for him. Yeah. Did a maybe some gang beasts. A little gangy beasties. We did. We did do gang. Which yeah. was a challenge into <laughs> itself. Yeah, yeah fucking we, gang beasts. We got got by. Apparently, we've been playing an older version for yeah. a long time. It's Legacy. called Legacy. Yeah. yeah, I went back and read the comments on that video, and you're right. It's just a bunch of people saying my game looks nothing like. <laughs> <what's happening. laughs> So I guess the one we we like the one that had been out was oh they got water off the table. You did. It's was okay. a, I wiped um, it up. It's fine. It was like a yeah, it's an unstable build, and they pushed the unstable build to a beta, so that's why it automatically downloaded the beta version. But it's still broken. Yeah, and okay. it, and you, well, it's it, not broken. It's but just yeah, like it's harder. Yeah, convoluted. They, they also took away like there's only four players instead of eight, or at least well, only, eight eight only eight easily eight. four players instead the of eight. The functionality for eight is in, but you can't do eight. Yeah, it's so not, easy. Yeah. All you have to do is go outside, download a third-party program, program it to replicate a keyboard, keyboard yeah. commands onto the additional controllers, and then it works. Fine. You know, do it four times. Yeah. yeah you know, it's not worth doing when Ryan gives up. Like, yeah. We would all give up instantly. Like just the fact that the video explaining how to do it is three minutes long, we would close it. Yeah. Ryan watched the whole thing and then was like nah I skipped around it was I long take as it. hell yeah. too um he was pretty long-winded there was one of those tutorials you're like yeah you could have just written this right I think over time you've become less patient oh absolutely and, uh, you know less no see here's the thing all my patience is going to other places what like your kids yes they uh, expend oh, all shit. of it so by the time you get to work you're like this sucks it's all gone <laughs> yeah I have none left you guys get the short end of the stick. Sorry, my like patience usually is when done. I, in the past, when I had a problem with my computer, I'd just I'd like freak out for a bit, you know, like couldn't figure it out. Mm. Unplug a keyboard, plug it back yep. in, and then I'd just be like, Ryan, come and help me fix this. <laughs> and now it's just, and he's just like, Well, now uh, now we have like a whole department of people. I feel like they should be, you know, used. Like they have a job just to come fix your computer, right? So they're in a whole. Ryan yeah. has has gone down that slippery slope. Perfect example: we were filming GTA the other day. It was a four player video the uh i think it was the uh every bullet counts mode yeah and uh we were playing and i had no audio in my headphones but i thought something was just fucked up and i wasn't getting my audio and we played one 
game, and then I realized in my capture that my capture didn't have audio either. So I was like, oh fuck, my Xbox is fucked up. I'm like, oh, let me, I gotta, I gotta restart my Xbox so we have audio for the next game. And Ryan's like, ah, it's fine, don't worry about it. It's like, Ryan, we're six minutes into the video, I can just reset my Xbox. And Trevor, Trevor was in the room, I think. And he was like, oh, no, 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 it was Jeremy that was saying it. But Ryan's like, ah, it's easier for the editor. He'll just, he'll just move somebody else's audio over. I'm like, surely that's harder for the editor than just syncing another video. Jeremy's like, uh. I mean, it's an yeah, easy. I'm going to go ahead if you can just, if you can just restart. It's that. an easy <laughs> fix, but it sucks for the video. It's, it's, like, it's yeah, an yeah. easy so fix. That's, obvious. You know what else is easy? Restarting your yeah, Xbox. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. what I did, and then it worked. But especially yeah, it was like an extra like, 10 minutes. It does just no, Exactly. Right. Ryan's like, oh, 10 minutes. Just <laughs> leave it. It's fine. And the game time is so not dependent on sound. It's absolutely dependent on sound. Nah. I didn't get a single yeah. kill what are you first game, about? and then I got to, I, and absolutely. then I did very well. And it sucks that, in, in GTA when you're looking at someone running around, and then you hear like the death noise of someone else yeah. just dying. Well, or you hear a well, gunshot. Especially yeah. what the fuck was that? every bullet counts. If you haven't played it, is a, is a Rockstar created game mode where all the maps are super tiny. Like one of them is Michael's house. So it's just like a little bit outside on his property, the first floor and the second floor. Everyone has the. Uh, they're technically it's like pistols. A, it's like a marksman pistol. It's a, Mark yeah, pistol. marksman pistol. Yeah. So every pistol. you shoot it. Yeah, don't worry about it, Kevin. Yeah, we got the whole low. podcast. Um, it takes One. five seconds to reload or something, but you only get two bullets. And yeah. That's it. And there's some ammo on the map, and then you also have a hatchet. Yeah. So it's a super, super fast game type, but it's also very reliant on hearing a door open because there's only yeah, so yeah, many doors. Or even, even yeah, like fine. footsteps. You can hear the footsteps like, oh shit, like someone's real close to me. He's like, oh, it's I'll stay in here. It's a fucking great Here's game. the thing, we're talking fun. over the sound of the game all the time anyway. You can't hear the game. Yeah, you can. We have, we have dialogue. You can hear this right here. That's I all I hear. It. You can turn it down. This is what it sounds like. You have the like. option at your desk to turn our audio down. That's why we all plug into those mixers. Ah, but you guys are more you, important to hear. I keep you guys at like 8%. That's what the content is. Yeah, yeah. just like, what? I heard a bird. What was that? <laughs> a pigeon. And Jeff, to really pay attention, doesn't wear his headphones at all. That's true. That's true. And he, so he, had, he has no what? game audio and can only hear us over the it's air. It's just so. constantly Gavin asking Jeff a question while Jeff is talking. Yeah. And Gavin going, God damn it, where are your headphones? <laughs> and it's worse for me because in every single Achievement Hunter office, I've been the furthest from Jeff. Yeah. So when I'm talking to Jeff, like he Jeff can always never hear me. I feel like <laughs> Gavin did that on purpose. Well, it's yeah. to avoid farts. It's too easy it's, if I'm next to him. It's, it's not like you've avoided them. Yeah. It, actually, the way we're laid out now, Jack would be the furthest away from you in walking distance. That's in true, walking distance, but not true. in terms of air flow, yeah, yes. which would carry a fart closer. Right, but he does <laughs> well, get he up and just walk yeah, to your he desk and that. farts yeah, on your yeah. desk, though. Yeah, but he went to town while you were I, gone. Too. I feel like I don't know how many of his farts he personally delivers to me. There's got to be some farts where he's like, "I'm in the middle of a game. It's not going to be a great fart. I'll just fire right here." He's got to do that. No, sometimes. I'm sure he does. But if he, was he next talks to me, about it, sometimes he would definitely lean. Yeah, yeah. He's always good for leaning. He likes to seal them up, though. Like anything in your desk that, that he can a bottle. Lot. Yeah, anything yeah, you can open, fart, and then close. Yeah. You've got it in every mug. If you've got a, if sense. you've got a water bottle, if you've got your hair gel, oh, the hair he gel, loves like yeah. opening it, farting it, yeah. and then sealing it. Sometimes again. I'll just <laughs> use something on my desk, and he'll he'll just go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, oh, it's fine. Is there farts in here? <laughs> that's generally the question that's asked. Usually, yeah. Well, at least if he does yeah. it into a liquid, maybe it kind of percolates a little bit. Like, you get a little... <laughs> like oh. a bubble of vomit. Like, he injects it into there. Infusion. Why did you say at least? Like, that was good. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean... I mean, what... Don't want his efforts to be regard. wasted. I mean, come on. <laughs> he spends so much of his life doing it, I want him to get some kind of return on it. You know Jeff what? immediately gets a return on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay? That's, the second he farts on Gavin's stuff, he gets a return. You know he, what's worse than a fart? One of those Poop. popper things. Oh, yeah. Jeremy, <laughs> fucking hell, man. Jeremy found, like, we, we had those poppers that we were using. Yeah, a, a, fa yeah. a fan-made creeper, like, the, the, those poppers Snapper, you throw on the yeah, ground, yeah. little, like, the white paper that has a little gunpowder you throw on the ground. Snap and pops. pops. Yeah, snappers. So someone made creeper ones and sent them to well, us. Someone just bought a box and yeah. put a wrapper yeah. around so it. So we'd be, like, constantly, like, finding them and throwing them across the room. I kept trying to land them on Jeff's desk because yeah. he jumps out of his skin. Yeah. And I actively coffee. avoid shit like that. Like, I literally have my sealed box that I'm like, I'm not, really? I'm not throwing it at anyone. I'm just keeping it here because I don't want to get in the middle of this shit. <laughs> don't start no <laughs> shit. Yeah, it won't be no shit. Exactly. And so yesterday, I'm just sitting at my desk looking at some stuff. I think I was, re like, researching some shit yeah, for a and game. Yeah, I listening to some Hall Notes. Listening to some Hall Notes, and all of a sudden, uh, one whips past my monitor and catches me right <laughs> under my eye. And, they, and they, explodes they under slice, my they, eye. They spark and throw the content yeah. into the package, so it's like, in it's, like, it's really jarring. Yeah, and so it, like, hit me right in the face, and it was just like, what the fuck just happened? And then I look over, and Gavin and Jeremy like, Oh, <laughs> like, they, instead of laughing, they're like, we're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. We, I, we you couldn't see bad. me, I was doing that too. I had this face. Oh, yeah, yeah. And basically Jeremy was trying to hit the back of your monitor yeah. and missed and got you straight under the oh, eye. And he was God. just like, 
He missed a 27-inch monitor <laughs> from three feet away. <laughs> he really did. But it's like of he all did. the things like on me that you can hurt, not my eyes. I use them more than anything else. You can break a hand. You can break a. Fly. Really? I don't give a shit you about use that. Use your hand a lot too. Yeah, but I mean, like that, that'll recover. If you lose eyesight, that's just you're fucked. Like yeah. you can work around like missing a finger. Oh or come two. on, they've got those replacement eyes now. They can see up to like six bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh really? Oh yeah. It's not but bad. What's your replacement? It's like an artificial retina. Jack can I just play. I take that out of a yeah, you can game. see yeah, light. There you go. Versus I'll play night arm the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so I was pretty pissed about that. Like, yeah, I, I, that's. I've not seen you like mega mad very many times, but yeah. I can tell you were like royally pissed. Jeremy off. felt really bad. He apologized to me. Oh yeah, he was which, mortified. Yeah, but it was more like the fact that I was like completely not paying attention. You had nothing and to it was do like, with it. Yeah, I was. Because he was throwing a bunch of them. He threw like five before that. And because you're listening to all the notes, you're seeing it. Right, it's a bit of a like a head nod. I mean, I can't go for that. <laughs> I've just, <laughs> I've just noticed that if you look at the reflection of the monitor up there, it just oh, looks yeah, like you're watching the back of us. Oh, yeah, like, like, oh there yeah. we go. You see my back. Yeah. <laughs> You should so. start writing stuff on the back of your shirt as like a message <laughs> like to the kick, audience. Like kick me yeah. or something. Yeah. Like yeah. ambulance. So, anyway, yeah. But so uh, I, I was of, I was not happy about that. Speaking of IDARB. Yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of IDARB. Really? So as of today, on um, what, whatever day this is, Friday the fourteenth, fifteenth. I don't know. Whatever. Fifteenth. Whatever today 15. is, uh, IDARB has just put in the Rooster Teeth crew into uh, the new lineup. So if you have the Xbox One version of IDARB, you can play as Rooster Teeth, which we are all in it. It's an interesting smattering of characters. Like, yeah. well, How many think characters was, are there? Uh, like we, we, have, or we have 15, 15. I think. Okay. Yeah, because we had 16, but we had to take one out due to licensing stuff. I honestly forget what it was. I think it may have been a Spartan. Like, I had Caboose, but it was like, well, that's a Microsoft thing. We don't know. So anyway, we took it out. But uh, yeah, actually, I did a contest like almost a year ago where I was like, submit your IDARB sprites, and then we'll pick them out. And then I like, uh, then we I like I went through pulled all pulled them all down and pulled the good ones and kind of like pulled the room, and then we sent them off to the guys at IDARB and they put it in the game. So we're in there now. So yeah. Mogar's in there, uh, Jeff's in there, uh, my trials version of me is in it's there. Like the trials guy with yeah. your head. Yeah. Then uh, Mad King Ryan's in there, X Ray and Vav are in there, Pongo. Uh, 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 Ruby, Yang, uh, Juan, I don't know, John, John, where, where and, uh, are there's a bunch of them. So. Edgar, <laughs> Edgar, yeah, Edgar yeah. the cows and Joe Lindsay's the cat's in there. has got three fucking characters in there. Yeah? Hog oh, she won. Oh, yeah, that's right. She, yeah, she's, she's got, she's uh, got Hilda's Hilda, in there. she's got Ruby and her. Yeah, I think Orph's in there too, so. We're in a few video games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were, we were talking to Malik about that today, because like we're in Minecraft, we're in IDARB now, and like we, we got Jack some... was humble Are we still in uh, Minecraft? No, nah, well, it's all stampy now, I think, but. Oh, really? We were in it. Yeah, still the Tower of Pimps. That's canon, man. We were we're in uh, well, Cloudberry, Starwall. Yeah, Cloudberry yeah, has our stuff. Star Starwall has our faces. Rocket League. Starwall is we're in probably there. the most heinous one, where they just put our fucking faces in the game. I remember the best I, part uh, is we took those photos. Like John yeah, yeah, Risinger yeah. took those photos. Yeah, I remember like a specific <laughs> angle because of how the yeah. rider was faced. Like I was like a forty no. degree angle or something. Yeah, because what it was was like they they were doing that Kickstarter and they're like if you donate a certain amount you'll get your face in the game. And so we did that. Oh, here oh, you go. Here's our IDARB stuff. So you can see. So yeah, Jang, uh, Yang, Jean, uh, Joe the Cat, me, Hilda, Jeff, uh, Edgar the Cow, X Ray, Vav, the Teeth, uh, King Mad King Ryan, Ruby, and Pongo, Mogar, <laughs> and uh, Lindsay. All right, now, it's just just Lindsay. <laughs> okay. yeah. Mo yeah. Mogar's a little disturbing looking. Why? Yeah. Why is it disturbing looking? I, I have a question. Why do you have Where, red eyes? Where's my face? face? What? what? I don't have a face. Yeah, it's, well, it's all nose. You have a basically. face. You just don't have eyes or a mouth. That, yeah. Uh, well, Your yeah, face is there. It's just <laughs> the face face. Yeah. So that's pretty badass. You're so. a blank canvas. You don't need to worry about it. Which to project it. whatever they want. I think they also included the uh, that they have hash bombs on IDARB where you can right. tweet stuff if you have a code. I think the Gus one is in there from uh, from Let's Play Live. God, that was the, so the one that the giant heinous. Gus where he pops up. I think it's in the game now. Was that? Did so. you say Toasty? Uh, no, no, no. There, there is Toasty, okay. which is like that's from Mortal Kombat. But the, it's just Gus who pops up doing that thing. So, <laughs> yeah, Man, the Let's Play Live version of that was just a mess. Oh, you it couldn't well, see anything. Because what happens was, so Let's Play Live, we put the hashtag yeah. up, and you had to tweet Let's Play Live, and then the hashtag, and then whatever your bomb was. And we had the list of all the bombs on like the side yeah. columns. And it was, I think, like they have a queue because they can't go multiple at the same time. But pretty much the queue filled in like two minutes. Yeah, like it was just gone for like the fifteen minutes of of play time. It just filled completely. So. And the queue was ninety eight percent Gus. Oh yeah, <laughs> <It was> that <laughs> Gus, Gus popping over up and over, over and over and over, and over again. And he covers the whole screen too. So I just anyway. found all the three sixty cam footage I, I had from Let's Play Live. I oh, thought yeah. it was gone, but I just rediscovered Where did it. it? Gone? 
Uh, I thought it had gotten formatted on one of the drives that I lost. Uh, oh. Um, but oh. no, I rediscovered it. Nice. So well, I should put some of that up. <laughs> yeah, you should. Not it's a, like found footage. I'm so excited. So, yeah. I'm like the documentaries up for it, and so. Do you have any footage of Jeff tripping over the stage? And <laughs> I do not. Out? Yeah, God. it didn't last that long. I, I have I mean, some that's, surgeon that's simulator. That's in the documentary, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's a documentary. Yeah, see, Jeff, Jeff man, falls over the thing. <laughs> you see his feet kick in the air, and then Lawrence just falls over for no reason. Yeah, what's what he doing? He just like, uh, drops under. Himself. Apparently, he made a bet that he would just prat fall on stage, and just it was sheer coincidence and timing <laughs> that it looks like a domino effect, and then Lawrence just falls over. Which I think, and, and like Millie's jumping on a guitar. It was that came chaos. up in the subreddit recently, and I think. Somebody said that Lawrence had claimed that it did actually knock him down, but that's, that's absolutely no, no, no. nonsense. He just fell over. Yeah, he just fell over. Yeah, yeah. Lawrence does that. He just falls over. That's, he's he's the also he fucking lies too. He's a fucking yeah. liar. <laughs> he's a dirty, dirty liar. He's a dirty, dirty, dirty funhouse. Hey, Australia, are hey. you going to be in Australia on Friday? Yes. In the morning? Yes. Okay. How do you feel about being a lab rat on immersion? Uh oh. That's you done it. You want to do that? Let's do it. Okay. Oh shit. Confirm. Immersion lab rat. Oh yeah, have fun in Australia. Oh, awesome. thank you. Bitch. We're being replaced. I get to Damn. go to Australia. I hate you. And I, I'm happy that I get to step on all of your backs to do it. <laughs> I'll climb a ladder of your sadness. Surely Ryan's too old to be a lab rat, right? Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, Jeff and Gus were. And they yeah, were... but that's OG. That, that didn't count. So, yeah. and, then, and then look what happened. You know, they well, had no, to, like... It's, it's like Doctor Who. Like, they go younger and now. The, oh, the yeah? yeah. Like 70 I guess. Old. So maybe Ryan should <laughs> do it with some salt and pepper hair. <laughs> I mean, I'm working little... on it already. Like, I got so, a little bit. Go for it. I got a little distinguishedness coming yeah. in. Yeah. Chances are you're going to get shot with paintballs. I mean, that's just the running. Oh. You know, the running. Hey, you're going to get this fucked season. up. Oh, what did I just agree to? <laughs> no, you totally just you just, huh. you just injured yourself. You excited about that in 15 the hour flight? Oh, so excited. So are you. No. It's long. Do you have an iPad or something to watch movies on, or are you just going to go with the, the movies on TV? I have an iPad. It's Ryan. I have an iPad. Do you have an Android? Do you have an iPad or a tablet? I have an iPad. My kids stole it. Oh! They stole it. I didn't know you owned that product. Did you see how his like he looks? Look how disappointed he is. Like songs. So for my my family actually gave me an iPad about three four years ago. Did you have to hold in the anger when you received it? Did you have to hold in the anger of receiving an Apple? You know, I I don't mind it. Like at the point at that point, it worked really well. Now iOS has been updated enough, and you know they hate their old devices whenever they update. So grind their old products. Now it is slow piece of shit, but. Uh, and then someone, I think either that year or the next year, gave me like a kid's case for it oh, yeah. to keep it safe for the big rubber children. ones. Yeah. Uh, like Jack's water bottle. Yeah, sort of like that. God damn, it scares me every time. <laughs> and then the kids stole it. Mm. And they never gave it back. You made it look like a kitchen. But like you live with them, right? You have access to their things. I charge it for them. I was like, like they every stole night. it. <laughs> I charge it for them. <laughs> so you can just, just nick it for Australia. Just take it. Uh, no, but I keep, I keep the kid's case okay. on it, though. Yeah. <laughs> Does that yeah. have, like, ears or anything <laughs> like that? Like, alien, like, things playing? You joke. I would totally travel with that thing on it. I mean, it's like a big-ass <laughs> case thing. I mean, it wraps around everything. It, does, it has a screen protector on it, but that's about all that's on nice. the screen. But uh, you can drop it from six feet up, and it's fine. Yeah. I know. I'm not going to try this six feet up. But I wish I wish they had on planes somewhere you could put like a cell phone or an iPad or something. Because like when you watch when you watch a movie on an iPad, it's like you have to look down and it hurts your neck over a few hours. Or I wish there was some way you could like hook it to the back. Or of the have seat. someone stand there and hold it for you. That'd be the great. Time. Yeah, yeah. It's just off in the side. Well, that's in business. Class. Yeah, that's business right. class. That's true. That's where you lay down and they actually hold it here. over your head. I think so. we could probably. What if we started some sort of like uh, passenger exchange program where economy can move up to business, but they have to stand there and hold the iPad for business <laughs> well, class. Well, I just that's discovered true. that. So I was like, wow, this is a long ass flight. I wonder. What's, what would it cost to upgrade? And so you can't well, upgrade. International flight. Well, you can. It's just you not cheap. You can't select. I can't seat. see it. Yeah, but well, you no, have no, to call. You have yeah. to like can't actually do it get online. upgraded to the next cabin. So like, if you're in economy, you can't just pick first class seats. You can pick in economy. But as soon as you get your upgrade, then you uh, you basically unlock that selection of seats. But I want to get the achievement. Why can't I just see it? Like I like I will pay money maybe you gotta make a phone depending call. on how much it costs. But why a phone call? Just put it in the app. It's, listen, they can't be dealing with every schmuck that wants to <laughs> fucking see how much first class costs. A lot costs. of the time, a lot of the time people redeem miles, and that's yeah. usually always done. It's never easy to do that basically, okay. unless you actually buy your original ticket with miles. You can't usually upgrade with miles online. All right. Carry, okay, you guys are fine. You guys have done miles. this a bunch. What's your favorite plane to fly internationally on? 
I like the uh, I did it twice. 787 Dreamliner. Thanks for yeah. that. Yeah. 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 The, nice. one, the one, that new one that goes to London is really, really nice. Yeah, they replaced it with a shitty old one. A 777. Yeah. <laughs> nice. The flight got too popular. 777, yeah. that's what I'm on. That is a turd. That's an old plane. <laughs> yeah. it, has, it has the monitors, though, in the, in the thing, right? It'll have the monitors. They yeah. won't be widescreen, probably, unless they've like really like gutted the thing. And, uh, but they, they won't be as bad as the ones where you like pick a movie and then it says movie starting in seven minutes. It's not that bad. You actually will get it on demand. But well, at least the, the interior of those things they can replace. Like that's all modular. They just rip yeah. the yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, it's, and it's different. Very, it varies to airline. Have you gone to Seat Guru? Check it out yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you should you should look at that and kind of figure out where I, what are your good I upgraded seats my uh, I've upgraded seats before doing that with Seat Guru. It's so fucking. Oh yeah. It's so Great. useful. Like Gavin showed me that. I had no idea that that was a thing. I was like, oh my god! Like it literally rates each seat and like yeah. tells you, you why it's you, good or yeah, bad. You can write reviews. Just for crazy shit. Like this seat's pretty good, but it might be bothersome because there's a cabin light that never gets turned Here's off. Here's what yeah. I wonder yeah. about a vent that, though. Yeah. That you can't adjust. Yeah. It blows right on your shins. <laughs> I suspect that there's a group of travelers that's, that have subverted that, right? Because there's like, uh, in the, the plane that we're flying, there's the economy, and then there's like well, a... not us. That's economy plus. Well, well, I mean, and we who's fucking us, going to Australia. Us is me and Meg, because we're on the same flight. Shocking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We have there's the economy and then there's like the there's like two row or three rows of like slightly better than economy like you're eh, you get six inches more room but that's about it. By the six way, inches that's is a fucking, hell of a lot. Yeah, that's huge. That's, I that's buy that about, every single time domestic. Yeah, every yeah. single time I fly, I buy economy plus. I thought about it because it's only sixty eight bucks. It's the difference between you should buy like this and being able to do this. Uh, yeah. Well, here's the thing. So the the one that is still available now is uh -huh. the front row, the bulkhead seat in right. that zone. It's a good seat. Absolutely take that. That's the one the seat guru was like, ooh. Here's why. Uh, I'll tell depending you. on the plane, yeah. right, and depending on the airline, sometimes the gap between the seat and the bulkhead is basically a wall right. uh, on an aircraft. Uh, it, sometimes this, the gap is too big. So if people come up on your left and the bathroom's taken, they'll just be like, screw it, I'll go to the other one and walk across in front of your legs and like but nudge you. But this is on the window in. side. This isn't even like the... The aisle. Well, like we had, we had that one time when we flew to New York. Uh, Gavin upgraded to first class, and he was right in front of me where I could literally reach around. <laughs> and, but like, did. so, so Ryan great. and I, we were like on the bulkhead, but literally it was just a wall hitting our knees. That's all it yeah. was. And so then I could just reach around and grab Gavin's face. And the guy, the guy but, next to Gavin, loved it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but there was in first class looking I, at an arm come through. I, I went. I flew to London one time uh, for an Assassin's Creed thing, and Gavin's like, "Find the bulkhead, sit there." I was like, "Okay." So I found a like a like it was an exit row. I'm like, "Oh, exit row, great." And I, I remember this conversation. Right yeah, up against the window. Row isn't bulkhead. I know, I know. But I was like, exit row, that has to be great. Right up against the window. And so I'm like, okay, great. I walk in the plane, and the way it works was uh, the exit row, the exit door actually juts into the plane a little bit. So, like, my seat went forward and then turned in and then went back out again. Yeah. So my knee literally <laughs> couldn't fit behind that bin. What the fuck? So and then also this the the arms were like the solid arms. Fuck. So I'm like wedged in here like this. <laughs> and I like pay, I, I paid for the luxury of being wedged in. So I paid like 60 bucks to be like, okay, cool. He texted me. I was like, why'd you get that seat? No, yeah. Not only that, it was either a text that someone tweeted or it was a tweet. Yeah. Jack was like God damn it, the <laughs> worst seat on the plane. And you're like, what are you on about? I didn't say yeah, take I that seat. You, I gave you the bulkhead. I was like, take bulkhead. And so Basically, they... exit row is great on domestic. Because yeah, yeah. typically the seat in front can't recline into you. And there's more leg room. Yeah, yeah. But on an international flight, the doors are so fat that they stick out. So you have all the leg room in the world if you want to sit yeah, if, at an angle like if, this. If you were a child or yeah. Gavin, like you can fit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank God there was no one next to me. It was like me and then an empty seat and then another dude. And like we're just like, thank Christ no one was there. Because that would have been, that would have been my nightmare. It would have been Fuck nine man. hours of me just like, <laughs> just hating life. I've only so. flown... I've only been out of the country twice. I went to Australia in 2014 for Supernova, and then we went to Germany last year. And the Qantas flight to Australia was fucking top notch. Air Berlin, not so great. Air Berlin sucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you had a rough one. <laughs> comparatively, I, I see, I was uh. more talking about just the physical layout of the plane and the amenities. The actual trip, yeah. not bad. The fat German dude who put his thumb on my screen and put his gut <laughs> on my arm. Yeah, that guy, that guy got the same guy. Yeah, the same guy got the guy with both of you. God yeah. damn! He kept trying to take my phone and I was uh, fingering your screen. <laughs> uh, that is fucking incredible. You yeah. mentioned that before, but 
Long story short, the guy just sat next to you and he kept asking to use your fucking phone. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did a thing. I've already told it. He did the thing where he like pulled up his armrest, allowing him to spill onto my oh. side. <laughs> his legs. So I was like, like I was basically into you. sitting t- next to a human exit door, and then uh, <laughs> and then he just like let me call, let me call my wife. <laughs> and I was like, God damn it! Give it, give it. So, so in the end, I ended up sat. In the middle, because it was, I think it was two, five, and two. I sat in the middle of the five because that <laughs> just was to get away from him. This fat dude. Yeah, and then that guy got up and walked over. Like I guess he knew the person sitting next to me because I was in the middle and like, or I think it was two, four, and two is what it was. And oh, so okay. yeah, so there was like a couple sitting to my left and I was right on the aisle. And then that fat dude just like, came over and like put his gut on my arm and put his hand on the seat in front of me and literally had his thumb on my screen. Also too, like, while let's... he was talking to someone, I'm like looking at him and looking at her and just like. Are you? Let's am I being, to where's Ashton? Too. Where's Ashton? When when Jack says it was a fat dude, <laughs> he was a big he was a big he, guy. He was a big guy. A, Look, that was, was your chance. Boy. You should have just given him your seat and oh. gone and sat next he to Gavin. Kevin. His arm was trapped under. Yeah, the was, was <laughs> in. I would like swim through the guys. Oh. Like, ugh. Yeah. Anyway, so that was a fucking nightmare of a Flying trip. Flying sucks. And then something shitty happened on the way back too. I forget. I was like, I just those were both shitty flights for me. Vomit. To, to Wasn't and from vomit. Berlin. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Somebody vomited right behind you or something. <laughs> Wait, was that was that that flight? Or there was I another. Thought it was. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah. No, it was that flight. Yeah. Vomit for some sure. Some little, some, some girl behind me, like some like you know probably nine year old girl, was like she just threw up all over herself, <laughs> and it was just like just the the smells permeated oh. through that section. You know, it was like the the radius of her smell. Oh. Yeah. And I felt. I mean, I felt <laughs> terrible for her, but it's like, what do you like? The dad's just like, ah, uh, <laughs> does do. His kid just threw up all over herself. And it's like, oh my god. That must have been the first time. Yeah. As a parent, you always have that first situation we run into with your kid where you're like, oh, this is what life is like now. Okay. <laughs> Things Fuck, have all right. changed. And I next got... time you're prepared, like you bring a rag or something, you <laughs> mop them up, and you're, like, you're good. It's a series of lessons. It really is. I had that once with a like a young boy sat next to me on a flight international. And uh, he was kept coughing to the point where he was like coughing and then yeah. gagging, and in the end he just coughed and like completely vomited. But it went on the on the the pull down. Oh, tray. so it was just like <laughs> <laughs> I was dripping, and I was annoyed when he was coughing. He was <laughs> coughing, I was like trying to eat my food, and then he was just, trying to eat oh. my food, and this bitch is coughing next to me. Yeah, it's, it's gross. <laughs> I mean, you you know when you're about to throw up, right? Like you can feel like okay, so I can. I, you I get, sure like can. He, to me, he went like this, and, it, and I, I immediately moved my legs, so yeah. coming down, and, and, just and he kept just kept eating. He was like, I threw up. I was like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> How did you not throw up? Yeah, it's true. You of all people. Especially eating something. Honestly, like, I, it's, it's something to do with the altitude, but, like, sense of smell is, is reduced. Like, you smell it's something true, and then yeah. it gets, like, it, it flushes away immediately. Yeah. So I, I wasn't, it didn't, didn't really smell that bad after a while. But you had to see it. Oh, and, and the sound was the worst. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you watched Michael the other day doing various things and it almost made you vomit. Doing that's various right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that, that was that's a fun video. Sickening. That, that was well, I imagine it was sickening. I didn't actually see it. Yeah. I have a good guess. It yeah. was pretty gross. We I have uh, a lot of these, uh, like, we keep getting stuff lying around the office. <laughs> like food. Stuff, yeah. Like sweets We've and candies and that. stuff. Yeah. So I, I say just, we do it more. We used to do it more. Let's get back into it. And I found it. the yeah. fastest way to get rid of it is just to convince someone to try and eat it all. And <laughs> here's the same thing. So we keep making these videos, but this one was just disturbing. It was, here's it was sure pretty we rough. We are going to put it out. And here's the thing about this, and about exactly what you're saying, like you... You say you want to make the video just to get rid of these things laying around the office. I also want to make the video because you never stop fucking with things around the office. We had a bag of Smarties around the office that Gavin was playing with for like two weeks straight. So like fucking three days a week, I find myself picking up fucking Smarties on the ground and throwing them away. Because he just throws them all day in videos, <laughs> trying to throw them in people's mouths and shit. And then he's just like, alright, see you tomorrow, and leaves. And there's just fucking candy all over the floor. So I'm just sitting there picking it up all over the floor. So when Gavin comes over and says, want to put 500 Smarties in your mouth? I'm like, what? Well, at least the Smarties will be gone. Sure, sure, we'll do that. We we have some friends who have approached the set. What's up, guys? Welcome to the set. Hello. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, oh, they're not gonna come on the set. I don't know. Like, Alan, uh, are we allowed to bring them on, or are we keeping them off? It's your show. I mean, yeah, you, you guys want to come say hi? Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Yeah, I grab a drink. You, you want a beverage? The, uh, we were told about this beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got beer that's running out. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> running out. So we, we got some it's friends. A, yeah, these are these are the, the, the guys from Pony. Guys. So these yeah, guys who make Cloudberry yeah. Kingdom. So they're hanging they're hanging out with us for a, a day or two. Or I don't know a day. I don't know. Grab, grab, grab a glass. Yeah, grab a glass of I any think, kind. Is that one beer? Yeah, the third one from the left yeah, is beer. This root beer. beer. Uh, this one's root <laughs> beer. If you guys want. And some. it turns out these guys very good at Cloudberry. Yeah, look how sharply dressed they are. I like the sport jackets. You guys looking good. We showed up. Is that all it takes? You just put a sport jacket on over a t-shirt. Yeah. 
guys who wore the shirt. Oh, look at that, Barry Bros. Nice, nice. I love well, he it. He showed up to their office looking like shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we rolled into New York with like you know t-shirts. Not and to mention, and, and we were drinking. Yeah. yeah. And now they're here while we're drinking. That was a yeah. relatively <laughs> heavy day of drinking. Yeah. It was. We started right now. We started early. Yeah. 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 And they've been hanging out with Alan, so they're probably yeah. They're sheets to the window. They're probably lit at this point. Why is it always good? Why is it always? Because you're the king of drinking. Why everyone Look, drinks, Alan? I've yeah, never seen it in person, but that's what I hear. You have a reputation. Hey, that's that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Alan is in charge of wooing. Oh yeah. yeah get so wooing we um we had a we had one of the Age Adventures in New York video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that came yeah. out, so that's we were there shooting uh shooting some Cloudberry stuff. Yeah, that, that video's come out. Yeah, no, I'm just saying in yeah. reference. These assholes are so good at their game. Surprisingly, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Except for Michael. Except, but, Except uh, Michael. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, let's. <laughs> Listen, listen. That was a that was a rare occurrence. I wasn't on my game. <laughs> <laughs> you had a rough one. I Literally really wasn't on your game. game. Nice. <laughs> it's actually funny, Jack. We were talking about this earlier. Um, so you know, there were a couple of people from Pony were coming in today to like visit the office and you know, meet and yeah. greet and all that stuff. That business stuff that happens. And you, I like asking about the podcast. And you're like, so today's the Barry Bro podcast. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was sheer coincidence. Yeah, I guess. Like, wow. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So, yeah. Convenient no, I, I love this shirt. I don't know if we can get a close up of this shirt here, but yeah. <laughs> so this is the Barry Bro shirt. Did you guys sell this at RTX? Yeah, yeah, we're selling yeah. yeah. So it's Hello. it's the first time our characters have ended up That's on right. a shirt that another company has been able to sell. That's really really badass. <laughs> Are so. we getting paid for that? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for not suing us, by the way. Oh yeah, that's really <laughs> cool, you guys. That's all your content, though, right? <laughs> that's all so, content. Anyway, that's pretty badass. Yeah, so cool. Well, thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Enjoy yeah. Austin. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to you. Cheers. Yeah, to you. Cheers. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you. All right. Got a high I know. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> hydrating right now. I'm trying <laughs> so. to stay sober until at least. <laughs> All right. cool. Make it to lunch. All right. All right. You guys, yeah, take care. Show. Bye, guys. Have Thanks, fun. Guys. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> cool. Love those guys. Love those guys. Love I like it's like an actual bar. Like it really is. <laughs> hey, what are you doing What's here? No. I, I kind of want. I didn't want to. I wouldn't want to bring it up. But do you think they're proud of us that we beat some more levels? I don't know. Like oh, yeah. in part like twelve and thirteen. I don't know if they've we seen got that. Really bad. We got yeah, really we beat much four levels. We beat, we beat four levels in one fucking part. I think you know what? I think that was like after the meeting in New York. We yeah, kind yeah. of stole some of their that's, essence. That's what I was saying in the video. Yeah. I haven't beaten a level. I think in like a hundred levels. <laughs> <laughs> so someone put out a spreadsheet of like the levels that Gavin has beaten by himself. To talk about it's it. like yeah. 26. <laughs> Not to mention, apparently, I say apparently because we say a lot of things. We make a lot of videos, yeah. and I'm sure I did say this. Apparently, I said in one of the last Cloudberries, either 12 or 13, that someone should make a compilation of all our wins. And I've seen two versions I've of seen, that. I've seen yeah. three. Oh, there's three. Yeah. There's at least three versions. So, like, I, you know, I don't know each name of each person that that made it, but yeah. there are at least three versions that someone made of every single one of our wins in Cloudberry. It's our speed run. Like. <laughs> on our first attempt. So it's actually really funny to watch because the commentary makes no goddamn sense yeah, at yeah. all. Because it jumps. sometimes it cuts like 30 minutes in between. Sometimes it, it cuts years in between. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's about, like, all the videos are different lengths because some people cut it differently, but it's about an hour and 40 minutes is mm. all of our victories, which and is what's, insane. What's it's just the wins. Yeah. yeah, what's interesting is that we didn't die until like level 17 or something. Well, not only that, we didn't die until level, level 17. Yeah, checkpoints. Because, yeah, I forgot about checkpoints. Because of how many levels we clear per part, and how easy it, easy it was early on. Yeah, thanks. I got some burpees. <laughs> the first thing I did when I clicked the video, it's like, again, it's like an hour and 40 minutes. I click, you know, and and one of the videos anyway, at least I saw, had in the corner each time telling you what part it was from. Oh, that's we have, cool. We have 13 episodes of Cloudberry. And so I click like halfway through the hour and 40 minutes, and it's like episode four. <laughs> it's it's yeah, amazing the, yeah, to see yeah, yeah. you get to the end, the last... 20 minutes are like nine episodes because yeah. we, we start averaging one or two or three fucking yeah. uh, levels per episode. Yeah. It's just shocking of the, we're almost up to 300. Yeah, we're are like we, 295 right now. Something like that. Did we have a part that was just one level? Yes, we had like, two parts I think mm -hmm. that were just one level. At least one. Just, yeah, was there, I think there was one. I, I thought that was we had the, two. That was the one where it was like, I was like, this is it. This is the end of Cloudberry because like. It, we, the we, day Jack quits, <laughs> I yeah. quit. There's no point. I spell <laughs> Because we, we went for like 20 minutes and just made zero problems. Progress. Even with like the the, the guide and slow, slow mode, mode, it was just like this is it. It's where I mean we're done. Like because I wasn't getting anywhere. This is it for us. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. Now I want a but video then, of all of our celebrations. Oh my god, just the end, just the cheering. Yeah. But yeah, because it's funny because like at the beginning it's like oh we didn't even say anything, but by the end it was like oh my god. <laughs> and then I've got my little dance I do every time I make it to an end. Like yeah, like jump hum? back and forth. Yeah. And go what in. is embarrassing is at like level four. 
there's like one spike and maybe one swimming swinging ball, and we're like, this is getting out of hand. Yeah, every, every one of us is like, oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Like the first time we Fire see a laser. Yeah. What All the right, hell? careful, Jack. You have to jump over this part. Yeah. <laughs> the so, A button jumps. How far do you think we could make it? If we just started back at level one, how far could we make it before we messed it? Up? I bet. We I don't think we make it. I don't think we make it that far at all. No. Before I we, think we'd probably do about as well. Before we like get a clean run, like before we lose all four. Oh, before we lose all four. Yeah. Gavin's saying we went 17 levels without dying. I bet oh, that's it? Level yeah. I bet oh, maybe, wow. maybe we could do, I mean, that could be worth a one-off video. Yeah, that'd be, we could yeah. do. We could, I mean, it could be three minutes long. <laughs> we should do, <laughs> we should do a pop every minute just that. until all four of us die. Maybe we should do that on the next, like, charity stream or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. Instead of, like, a separate whole video. Just play Clobbery, yeah. All right, yeah, I think we could make it probably at least, what, like, 30, nah, maybe? Idea. It's better than getting tased, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> A lot physically, of money to get physically, yes, but ch charity wise, I don't know that it's better, right? People want to see me yeah. in pain. I like that, like Michael getting tased ended up being around ten thousand dollars or so, and or not a little, maybe yeah, around about ten thousand. My beard getting shaved off was three hundred thousand. <laughs> I was like, this coming off. This was worth like thirty thousand. <laughs> yeah. I like how Jack, you've realized this after the fact. Yeah. I was thinking about that the day of, but I'm like, God. wait, I'm doing what? And Jack's gonna shave his fucking beard? Oh, and then Jack shot me. <laughs> yeah, it was like what? my favorite part, and I've said this before. My favorite part about that whole video, like the. Archie Life or whatever the hell it was, just an extra video that got cut of me getting tased, is when Gavin hands you the gun and he goes, are you nervous? And you're like, no, I'm not getting shot. <laughs> I was nervous. I wasn't even involved. No, was I mean, the worst that happens to him is he misses. Yeah, <laughs> or he kills me. I, I mean, it's like, think I about it this way: it. if I didn't hit you, I was gonna hit Matt or Jeremy. Either way, yeah. it's, it's all Definitely good for me. Definitely not you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's now, going away from me. Now second, they were holding you though, so if you'd hit Matt and Jeremy, yeah, would it all go into the circuit? Oh, yes. Maybe if they touched me, would. <laughs> I wonder if that's enough voltage to you still have I, felt it. I would think it probably would be. That'd go right through your heart. If you put it on the left and the right, it it. It could be. I don't it know. was pretty strong. It was pretty strong. <laughs> How many people can you strong. tase with a single taser, I wonder? Well, I mean, I, I've, I've actually seen that video where people hold hands and they complete a circuit. It was something like eight or nine before, like, you know, they could really How come the people on the outsides don't get shocked? Like, the holders? It's, because it goes in a straight line. Yeah, yeah. Electricity From follows the path of least resistance. So going like that is way faster than, like, all the way around through everybody. But if it's on the person on the left and right, it's absolutely going to go through the so person in the middle. So what you're saying, we should get a taser that fires, yeah. like, nine probes. <laughs> oh. Like a shot. If you want to take well, that, no, I'll, that shoot, would... I'll shoot that. <laughs> yeah, one. Well, yeah. If you do you nine probes, so that's in parallel instead of in series. I yeah. Should... <laughs> that was a great cut. You know? Whoever that makes was sense. <laughs> it is cut to Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> like, they know me very I can, well. I can see the cogs I going. I used to have to do a lot of that. Was a lot of electrical conversation, right? Yeah. Parallel and series. Right. Now you want it for, just to be for, two pegs for like uh, right. yeah, fire yeah. alarm systems. Well, I mean, do nine and then like. Multiply the voltage by nine. Yeah, is that how that works? Math, maths, and science. And just don't mess with the amps. Amps are what kill you. Not not what not wattage or voltage. It's the amps that kill yeah. you. It's fifty thousand volts. Oof. Yeah. Is <laughs> it? Do you think that's like the like what is the most high? No, voltage that volt. The, the that taser. That wasn't fifty thousand. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. It was way higher than that. Fifty thousand. It, it said was, on the. You're you're nuts. You double check you that. You still got the cartridge. It's not fifty thousand, dude. The, the fucking the fucking cattle prod from immersion was like fifty or eighty thousand. Really? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, that right. so, it's, it's like up, half a million almost. Someone help me look say. up a voltage of a taser. Well, not a taser. It's only we had iPhones or taser brand, right? Taser, I'm almost certain taser. the one you had like was like in a couple hundred thousand volts. So uh, so that that was a shitload of pain. Was that the most pain you've been in in your life? No, I don't think so. No? Probably not the most pain. It was extremely uncomfortable. Yeah. But I would still say, like, <laughs> yes, it was. Um, <laughs> I would say still probably breaking my arm was more painful. How'd you break your arm? I, when I was a kid. Oh, okay. Well, um, I was on top of a slide <laughs> in my backyard. I was maybe seven. Nice, you did it. Uh, we had one of those, like, play sets in the backyard that was a slide. Uh, monkey bars and like two swing sets yeah, yeah. and kind of shit like that. And it was sometime in the winter because it was snow and I was maybe like six or seven, which means my my middle brother, Jimmy, was about 13. 50,000. And uh, is it? Is it 50,000? 50, volts. Oh, well, you got me. Yeah, sure. Oh, your brother Jimmy. Um, he hit me in the face with a snowball on top of the slide. I fell off the slide and hit the ground, but my arm got caught in the swing. So like oh. I hit the ground and my arm went oh. in the fucking swing. So, so then you broke your arm up here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So shit. then, 
So I had like my almost my entire arm cast. Yeah. So I had that for <laughs> I don't remember whatever a month or a couple weeks, and apparently, as I'm told, my parents were like, I, is, "Is it ready to come off yet?" And the doctor was like, "No, no, it's fine. It's healed. You can take it off." I had it off less than a week. I was playing in the backyard. I tripped and fell, rebroke it. Oh my god! So I had to get another cast. So now that arm again. is made out of like steel. Yeah. It sucks. Look at this. Look at decided to show up oh, here. Someone's at work. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Where yeah. you been? Long time no see. Remember when you made fun of Gavin about never coming to work? Yeah. Yeah? What's up? I'm doing important stuff. Yeah? <laughs> I'm doing important grown up yeah? stuff. She's sure. just working at a level that we can't perceive. It's yeah, like, it's, uh, uh, well, dimension. you know, if it's important, we're not involved. So. Yeah. The you know, that, like, you know, like at the, I don't know, you, you'll get this. You oh, see with powder, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, at the end of powder, when he takes out his shirt and he's running through the yeah, field yeah. and he goes Zzz, and he ascends to a higher plane? Yeah, yeah. I'm, bad I'm in the bottom. process of ascending so to a higher plane. So you're basically, you're going to shave off your eyebrows and your hair and everything and go running. Yeah, didn't that, didn't the director of that movie end up being a pedophile? Was it? Was it? Something I think he like went that? to jail yeah. right after that. Creepy. So it's like, yeah. He's I'm not a pedophile. Off his <laughs> yeah, so, so you're a powder. <laughs> Got Jeff's, it. Uh, Jeff's eyebrows have been vanished. Well, his eyebrows have been shaved off by time. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah life shaved off. I'm too important <laughs> now for the work, work that you started. Podcast, yeah. achievement yeah. hunter, yeah. 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 The run of the mill, day to day grind. Listen, yeah, I got a lot of. He basically walked in one day, looked at us, and went, ugh. Yeah. I looked and went. <laughs> like yeah. this. It's been real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least right. Ray was track. Ray was kind enough to say I quit. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff just kind of comes and goes. Yeah, he was like, nah, I'm gonna go do other stuff now that's cooler than you guys. I have new friends and I like my new friends better than you. <laughs> yeah. Well, also he's, he's I think sitting at the cool table part now. Part of that though, I'm gonna place blame on Gavin because he moved out that's true. and broke his heart. And I feel like everything's oh, been awesome. downhill since then. Gavin yeah, and, I, I think and Jeff's Jeff never been happier since I left. He does have a sweet movie yeah. studio now that no one's. Can't be bothered to but. respond to that. I don't miss you when you know I'm playing it? Fallout 120 inches. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Okay. You played on the projector? Yeah. Oh, you're living the dream out there. It's dude. a pretty nice. Yeah. If uh, if Griffin, you're welcome for the idea. By the if way, if Griffin never comes home, I'll just move out in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's. I was saying this before. It's totally like the best living space. Yeah. It's tiny. Everything's right there. You can like dump like in eyesight of your bed and make a. Sandwich. I like to look at my bed when I take dumps. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. Do you like put your feet up on the bed while you're taking a shit? Yeah, it's my squatty pot. It's yeah. ideal. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys was... talking about? Oh, oh we talked about all, yeah, we talked about Cladbury for a while. We talked about Ryan going to Australia. Uh, with Meg. Talk, yeah, with Meg. And Gus. And I was Gus. walking around earlier. Wait, you didn't mention Gus or Jeff Wait, before. Wait, Gus mentioned flight. Meg. Well, well all right then. I'm not flying to Australia with him. Gus will be there like half an hour after us. I don't know that I'm flying with him. What time do you guys arrive in Australia? Why the fuck are you pointing at us? He's the only one going. So. Oh right, sorry. You're not going. <laughs> Thanks. Fuck no, no, you. no. There are, we're, the three. Ryan's the only one fucking going. Well, what to, be fair, no, to be fair, at least oh, Jeff's, Jeff's going. going. Ryan's going. We have to do laser team shit, and nobody likes Jack. Yeah. That's basically. Also, Jack's it. been 17 times. Already. I've been well, twice. Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times. Yeah, twice. Three times. You brought bad, back an immigrant. Yeah, like you <laughs> brought back an immigrant. <laughs> Ryan, you say that your flubs are directly related to thumb. Wrong. Shit. See, I was Wrong. My thumb on my chin. I Ryan, like, yeah. bugs. The newest. Oh, Gavin brought this up. My chin. Gavin well, started talking about the newest yeah. RT no do words good. Yeah. And <laughs> no it's do words 90 percent you, yeah. and half of them is you on the patch yeah. doing nothing but talking, not playing anything. I barely ever flub on the patch. Bullshit. Oh, that's Watch a lie. the video Fairly because it a is a, 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 Look, just like an orchestra of chaos. When you make one every week, that's a lot of content from which to pull flubs. But okay? it's just you. If only everybody content fucks once up a words, week in a guys do it all the time. Yeah, but you're the only one who says it's related really, to your thumbs, and your thumbs are free as a bird right we now. We don't fuck up anywhere near the level. Oh, we're, uh, we're gonna get you. I would, I would argue wager, that you do actually. I would wager that the four of us fuck up combined. Less combined. Than you. I, I, I would did Gavin fucked up his own name the other day when he was introducing. Um, that wasn't a f well. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you <laughs> I said I was Jack. <laughs> what? what? I think I that's I worse. Like no, yeah, I said uh, I, Ryan and I did fails of the week. And I said hi, it's Ryan and Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so used to Jack's name being in fails. Oh man, yeah. Fun times. But so. it, it, he, Ryan, no do words good. No, you don't. No to do words good. So I'm Fuck. going to Australia with Ryan. Yeah. Well, you're going with Ryan. You've known about this for a while. If you're talking about achievement hunter, you're going with Ryan and Lindsay. Yay. What a party. Oh, which, by the way, <laughs> this, is, this is the perfect time that the two of you are here. Lindsay's not here and don't show up. It wasn't an invitation. Uh, you two and Lindsay will be off topic next week in Australia. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Not that camera. It was a camera. Oh, wait. So no, I'm in Australia. Australia. I'm yeah, doing yeah. Uh, off topic. You yeah, yeah, yeah. and Ryan and Lindsay. You get a host. You get a host. Well, I found. I don't know. I need to bring a microphone. Oh, no. Well, I think it's, bring a it's, microphone. it's the same place we're doing the patch that it's like a bar. No, here's the Ooh. thing as I investigated. Which I don't know that it so is. it's on Sunday in Australia. So it would be Saturday here. So next week's episode will not air on Fridays for sponsor because it won't happen until Saturday. So it should air Saturdays. Saturday for sponsors. Wait, well, Saturday, I'm gonna be there Australia? with my kids. No, Saturday in America. So I guess Millie's oh, gonna be on. Off it's it's Sunday in Australia bar. and Saturday in America. So the schedule will be a little, a little tipsy next week. But keep an eye out for when I, you know, I don't fucking know. I I opened a spreadsheet about Australia to find out off topic was happening there. As <laughs> so, I oh, that's what's going on? Great. Why don't you you just do it wherever you are? Be, the listen, I'd love stuff. to, but they they scheduled it for you guys. Well, I think they they're, they're trying to the do more. Time. They're trying to do more stuff in Australia, so they're they're doing like I, I don't know what we've announced, but they're doing stuff in Australia. We could do two so that's, parallel off topics. We could. I call them both the same topics? episode. Number. We could do an off and a topic. There could be two separate things. On topic and off topic. Little Jay. Little Jay. Well, Jay, we're talking about how you bean Jack in the face. Quick question, yeah. is, that, is that why he's here? Why are you here? Yeah. Are we that delayed? Is there that much of a time? I was getting dump? lunch. I thought you were like, you couldn't be on today. It's a bar, not a restaurant, no, asshole. I'm exporting now. Is, oh, is okay. it a pub yeah, or is it a bar? It's fair enough answer, Lil Jay. Okay. What you been editing today, Lil Jay? Achievement Hunter vs. The World, Rocket League with the gents. Hey. I, you know, I will say, we did, get, we did get Ryan, so that's fine. But earlier I said to Lil Jay, I was like, listen, Lil Jay, you know, Ryan doesn't show up to work because he strolled in at like 11 today. Ryan. It was not 11, it was like 11.45. It was pretty late. Hey, no, yeah. it, was, it was like 11.30. He texted me at um, I did. I warned you several times that I was going to be late. Because of my kids. Then Jeff didn't yeah, bother telling anyone Jeff else. Because Jeff wasn't there, <laughs> so none of us know. I texted oh, no. Ryan, and Ryan's like, oh yeah, I'm on my way. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. good. He's like, yeah, I let so, Jeff know. Uh, I didn't realize he'd elevated too far beyond you. Yeah, yeah. Forget about it He's not on our level anymore. So I said to Lil Jay. I have a different internet I said to Lil Jay, like, listen, Lil Jay. Deep web. Ryan doesn't show up. You might have to be on the podcast two weeks in a row. I wanted to give him a break. And he was like, ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it, but I got some editing to do, so why don't you use Trevor? And I'm like, so use the editor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the editing full time? Like, he's a full time editor. You're a part time editor. Yeah, let's not. I can't yeah. believe Lil Jay's yeah, turning like, down off topic. Listen, I mean, and then here he is, so I'm just confused. This is work. work. Yeah, this is also this is work. work. Right. We don't warrant it. We should just make I got this, work to do. This could be our new desk yeah, setup right here. We just put one monitor here, all six of us could sit around. Dude, could Lil Jay edit in the background? Yeah. We can set on the little computer over there yeah. sometimes in a busy no, you restaurant. No, no, camera. He, he, yeah. can, he can sit on the stool like Gavin did that one time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just like the time, the time out to the stool. side. Yeah, so I mean, in a busy yeah. restaurant, yeah. sometimes you have to sit at the bar anyway. So it's yeah. just like you know, there's not enough room at the table. That's perfect. Yeah, get over there. There we go. I like it. Get over there. Do it. <laughs> Fun times, man. We we shot. Dude, some... this is the whole crew right here. This is it. This is all. This is the six. Well, the what? five and Jeff. Where's Lindsay? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, so. Listen, she, that bitch is in the other room. Okay. I'm talking about the room with the desks. Yeah. That yeah. matter. Where's Malik? We're here. Malik's Where is Malik? Yeah, he's on a plane. Oh, here he left. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah we mentioned him. Dude. He's a cool dude. He's a cool yeah. dude. We played some. I had fun hanging out with him. Played some GTA videos. with him. Played some Gang Beast with him. Fun stuff. Offense, defense. Made a really funny black guy joke. He did. <laughs> yeah. He did make a yeah. black guy oh, die shit. first joke. Dude, we yeah. played snipers versus Malik's stunners black. again. I fucking love snipers versus stunners. Jack, we were talking I about it that, that day. Like Malik came in really early, and it was kind of like me and Jeremy and Malik like talking about GTA and stuff like that, and what we were gonna film with him. And we were cycling through a few of our videos, and we we started talking about snipers versus stunners, and he hadn't heard of that game type. He heard of most of the ones that we were mm. talking about. So we're like, oh yeah, we'll show you. And we showed him the clip, and he's just like, oh dude, that's that's the one I want to play. I want to play that. So we already planned that. We were gonna play it. Jack walks in. Jack Jack walks into the office, and we're like, oh, we're gonna do some sniper versus stunners. And he was just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got pretty fucking excited about it. And then it's uh, such a fun game. Did, he did not yeah, yeah, yeah. he did not disappoint. God damn. Hey Jack, Vaughn, you want to come on the podcast? Hey Vaughn. <laughs> What she said? She said no. She Jack. said yes, absolutely. Said, I told you they were all here. She said Jack is fired. Oh. oh. Snitches get stitches. Did she leave? Yeah. Is that what you yeah. Well, also, <laughs> it's playing on Jeff's computer, so she walked in and all of you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you, need to, if you need to punish Achievement Hunter, right now is your time. Just get all of us. We'll have it on record, too, so. Oh, man. Kevin, do you remember what kind of beer we got for the K? Is it Fireman's? Fireman's. No, 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 it's the Fireman's, new but, but uh, we were told before we started it might run out mid-podcast. It was a long, something Pilsner. It was something it? Pilsner, I can't remember. And someone's like, how about this beer list? And there was like 78,000 beers. Which one is it? Live Oak. Live Oak Pilsner. Right? Is there Ooh, like a, yeah, so that's back there next. ready to just like fast switch it when it runs out? Yeah, yeah it's like just a, a K. Mm -hmm. I, was, I, look, I looked back there the other day, I was like, how do we get... 
the the beer from the fridge. I was like, is there some sort of special device? No, it's just a hole in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. pipe coming through. Keg, <laughs> Catch hose, the kegerator. Hole that's what it in is. the wall. <laughs> yeah. Tap. Yeah. yeah, there you go. It's literally a kegerator. All you need, honestly, this is it. Like, you want to make your own at home, it's easy. Get one Marcus Lepore and you're done. There you yeah. go. Yeah. 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 Just build Hire everything him for you. And hand him a wad of cash. Like, yeah. Take, make this I, happen. See, I didn't even do that. Oh, Somebody else gave him a wad of cash. Drill. There you go. <laughs> do you need a special drill to drill through a fridge? Nah. Only like lined with uh, like... Probably. Well, you should probably get like a metal bit. Like something cut through metal, but other than that, you should be fine. Yeah. And I mean, then you get like insulation, up. so... It's like a very thin piece of metal. Usually. When I need like tool advice, I just go to Griffin. Like she's got everything. That's yeah. smart. She knows, she knows how to cut a hole through. Man, it. can I say? It's hot. As well. <laughs> yeah. well, that's vicious. Um, I moved into my house and I needed. It got. Uh, I didn't really. I kind of like had some tools in my apartment over the years, especially like minor shit. Like I grew up. My my brother is a contractor, and my father was always handy money. Did everything around the house, so we had tools and tools and tools and tools and tools. If I ever needed anything, I need a slop sink. Yeah, slop sink. That's true. You know, basements. Big thing on the East Coast. Yeah. Jeremy knows. I got one. Uh, I had one. had one. You had one. You had one. You sold it. Now you don't have one. I didn't have a slop sink. That's where you bathe the children, right? But you can do that. Yeah. Children, the dogs, children. wives, yeah. you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so I kind of had like a pathetic amount of tools. And when I moved into my house, I mentioned to my brother that Lindsay's parents got us a grill and I needed a new wrench for the grill. I'm like, yeah, I need a 3 16th wrench or whatever the hell it was. He fucking sent me like four hundred and fifty dollars worth of tools, oh, like shit. to the point of like this is unnecessary. He sent me like a two hundred set drill bit, a, a, a new gun, a, like a drill, a power drill, gun? Uh, yeah, yeah, drill, <laughs> drill gun, just a pistol, um, <laughs> just bits, wrenches, Allen keys, everything. And I'm just like, great. I'm never gonna fucking use this shit. So you two took months, the one wrench out and threw everything else away. Two months later, I have used like 95 percent of that shit. I'm so <laughs> yeah. fucking like thankful he sent yeah. me all that shit. Dude, I've been doing nothing but fixing crap in my house, yeah. breaking. Owning a house, man, you find it's like, oh shit, everything is useful. I had to go to Home Depot the other day to buy something, and I ended up buying a pair of wire strippers and crimpers just because I was there, and I I actually unfortunately got excited about it. Like, yeah, <laughs> I own one now. Do you ever find your switch panel? I did. It was on the outside of my house, like Jack said. Oh, yeah. It was an electrical panel, but close. And here's the best part. So there's the meter, right, that's attached to my house. It is an underground. And then it, it goes into the main panel, which then goes into the house and feeds the sub-panel. The main panel is on the outside of my house, which is a little weird. The, the door doesn't have, like, a latch that you can lock it. And the panel is broken where it just floats ajar. So... The previous homeowner just has duct tape <laughs> from the the masonry on my house to in front of the panel to like the other side of the house. <laughs> so I was like to investigate. I literally I'm standing there. I have a piece of tape. I pull the tape, and as soon as I pull the tape off my house, the door just goes <laughs> and opens up, and I have my main breaker, which is 150 amp service. Uh, I think two air conditioners and my dryer. And I was like, great. So anyone can just. Turn my power off to my house push. whenever the fuck they want. As long as it's only the dryer, that would fuck with that you. That would piss <laughs> me the fuck off. Hey, uh, like hey audience. It's literally just... <laughs> Here's my address. I feel like that's something come to work wet. That's that why. should have come up on the inspection, right? Like, yeah. oh, by the yeah, way, yeah, your yeah. shit's duct taped together. Probably should have, Ryan. Yeah. Now what else is wrong with your house probably that you don't even know about? I, I don't have mold, so that's... That's, that's fine. That's a big that's one. Jack, it's probably yeah, yeah, back back by the duct Figure that out. Yeah, it could First be. house I almost bought. You should pay attention to those inspections. Like when I bought my house, the uh, the guy goes, uh, these uh, swinging doors to the kitchen, that's not breakaway glass. If you ever break that glass, you're going to fuck yourself up. And I was like, eh, who's going to break glass? You! <laughs> ah, I did. Was that this one? I have a scar for the rest oh, of my life. Sorry. Left hand. Left handed. Yeah. I, I, I like, had, I'm lefty. Got to use left hand. Yeah. I had a thing in my old house, in my old office, where... I, I don't know if it was mold, but I had one carpet mushroom. That's not good. <laughs> That's real but, bad. Also, like, like, when it rained... Unless it was shiitake. Then you're fine. Yeah. When it rained, one mushroom like came up and then just like bloomed in the middle of the carpet. That's like, huh. fucking <laughs> crazy. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah. And I just... Did you smoke it? Yeah, I just chopped it off, oh. and uh, when it rains again, it comes up. You also had death stairs. This is your too, old right? house? Yeah, yeah. Your house. Like in my old house. Okay. God oh, knows uh, how many mushrooms are in there now. Yeah. Uh, when was the last time you went there? About a month ago. Oh, God. Did you ever take care of that tree? Uh, nah. an old guy wants you to take care of that tree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I won't change the subject, but uh, but you'll change the subject. I'm about to change yeah, yeah. the subject. Sure. Frank falls out the window. Instant classic. Did you guys Sunny. talk about it? So you're talking about something? Yeah. No, I haven't mentioned oh. it. I don't know that any of these people watched Have it. Have any of you guys seen the new episode of Always Sunny? Nope. Episode no. two. No. Oh my Thank god. Thank God you're here. I like the premiere. Premiere was, okay. was, was so okay. much better. I was okay. This I, was I, in... I think I liked it more than you based on our. Yeah, I did. A ropey season. 
No, good. The no it's was okay. good. Okay. It wasn't amazing. It's not it like Pop Pop's final solution. I liked it more than Jeff, but I can see why he didn't like it as much as me. Second episode, fucking phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay. Phenomenal. It's a callback episode, but they did such a great job with it. I'll probably binge like, the, so uh, much better than the gang. Binge uh, the complete season. I don't remember the game recycles the name are of trash. It. I, th- I think it is. Yeah, the yeah. game recycles are They're, trash. They hit like. 20 points from season two. Basically, they go back wow. to 2006 in the episode. Have you seen the, to uh, the point where they have extras that were in, that oh, were no in 2006. Whoa, like, stuff like, like, like the, awesome. the episode where Dennis and Dee uh, start doing crack and they go try to get welfare. The <laughs> yeah. game goes on welfare. The fucking lady well, two, in the welfare two, office two, two is parts the same that. lady. Two parts and that. Dennis and Dee go to the welfare to try and to the welfare store. Well, Charlie calls it the welfare, welfare. store. <laughs> they go and they try and, and get on welfare for being addicted to crack and they say Dee is mentally retarded because she has a bike helmet. And there's the black woman at the counter. And then Mac and Charlie go there because they try and hire the slaves. You know, they get the welfare slaves. <laughs> yeah. And remember there's like that big fat guy they walk in and Mac's like, well, why do we pick him? He's like, don't pick him, dude. You just, you screw yourself over for a good slave. The black lady and that fat guy are both in it. Wow. It's like, it's literally 10 years, 10, 10 years, years ago. 10 years later. Jesus Christ. I was awesome. like, that's awesome. That's yeah, they're good about phenomenal. And also yeah. like their side characters are so good. They're like, memorable. The yeah. second they were there, I was like, that's them. Yeah, yeah. That's them. But even like, like, like the Ponderosas, like Bill yep. and Marie Ponderosa, like they're great side I characters. Wonder, the lawyer, Uncle Jack, like all of these side characters are so fucking great. I wonder if the strippers are the same. That I don't know. That yeah, I yeah. doubt. I doubt honestly. as well. Have yeah. you seen the uh, the cross the the cross mix of Anakin Skywalker and Always Sunny? Yeah, it's too long. Too long? Yeah, it's like uh, it's like a minute and twenty a, second yeah. scene so for, of for Star a funny Wars, eight and then it cuts to the end. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like it, it wasn't such like, a shitty scene. Well, yeah. Yeah. Jeff was watching it, and Jeff Jeff literally goes, "This is just the movie. I'm watching the movie. Like, there's <laughs> nothing there." And then right at the end, well, someone did. And then you go, "Oh." Someone did that an, wasn't worth it. Someone did an image it's version of it idea. where it's like four images. Like, oh, okay, I get that. Then it's like, all right, right here's a two minute video it's telling the same joke. What it's was like, funny that I thought, and maybe I don't know if you you thought of this when we were watching it. So they do they do a bunch of callback shit where it's like 2006, and in season two, which is when it was 2006, there's that episode where Mac and and Frank go to the they go to like it's not really like a strip club, it's more like a, a bar or or like a club. They go yeah, to a club, club, and Frank's wearing the toupee and he's trying to pick up chicks and shit. And the funny part to me in season two is. Mac's at this club, and Frank's just like this fucking old guy who's bald and he's got a wig, and it's like, you know, that's the comedy there. Like, he's yeah. trying to pick up chicks. Ten years later, to me watching it, I'm like, dude, Mac's fucking old to yeah. be in like, a club. You know what I mean? And it's crazy because in the episode, again, trying to spoil it, fucking because Frank thinks it's 2006, he's like, to, to the crew, he's like, you, you guys are, you know, in your mid 20s. You know, you don't know, you know, be working at a bar when you're 40, and they're all like, <laughs> like when you're almost 40 and it really dawns on you like yeah, hey, this show has been on for 11 fucking years wow. it started as a in, show it's when they're in Giordino's it's right? been a uh, um, uh, uh, fuck what's it called uh, you're close what is it G- uh, Giordino the restaurant yeah the restaurant it's Giordino's the Italian place fuck I can't think of it yeah, tie the shoe, you're close tie the shoelaces yeah. together yeah um it's just like I can't believe how long I've been watching that show. So literally, it, it was a show about hey, a bunch of twenty-year-olds. Like yeah. the the start of the show was mid mid twenty-year-olds in ridiculous situations, and then the comedy came from that. At this point, the comedy of the show is just that these people who are almost forty are in these situations <laughs> yeah. still. Like nothing has changed in eleven years. I'm do you, fucking do you excited. I'm gonna for this try season. and be like the longest running show. I hope so. I fucking swear to God, I hope so. Like, oh, I'm already a little sad that next season is at this point the last season. Simpsons is uh, yeah, Simpsons like yeah, 20 27 seasons. Season. Well, that's that has to though. end at some point. But like, Gunsmoke, there's, there's Gunsmoke won about 25. What is yeah. the price now of that network renewing a, a new? Season of yeah, how many well, million? It's gotta how be much? a lot. Well, because that's what they said. They initially they just signed on for two more, right? Yeah, they're gonna go far enough to break the record from Gunsmoke, and then who knows? They said out. that after season ten, or it was like right before ten started, which was supposed to be their last season. Um, I was remember reading things about are you gonna renew Sunny again? And somebody at FX was like, we don't know yet. This show's so fucking expensive at this point, just because they're all so well known and the production value's gone up and blah 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 Wasn't blah. In the cheapest show ever. Clearly, made, yeah. they did it anyway because it got signed on for another two seasons. But I, dude, I'm gonna be so sad when that show's over. Well, does F S F X X have any other shows on it other than FX Man Seeking Woman? Yeah, but I mean, any other hits though? I mean, uh, Ooh, the new Zach Galifianakis show might be a hit. Is Louis, that on FXX? I think Louis on Louis on FX. FX? FX? No. Or they kind of moved most of their. Yeah, they, they, they move. They move all their comedy things. over. Yeah. Well, Louis one of the di- directors for the Zach, Zach Galifianakis thing. I'm yeah. not. I. Are you done with Louis? Go, no, no, no. Wait. I love Louis. I'm, 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 I'm cautiously optimistic because I trust Louis 
But uh, the trailers for that show are not great. No. The Zach Galifianakis show? Mm. Not great. Is it like a Louis-style show, or is it a I like comedy? the one no, clip. It's, it's, a, it's more like a dramedy type thing, where he's like a, <laughs> he's like a failed clown. And clown? He's like, clown? Clown. He's a clown. <laughs> clown. Like, like, I literally saw the commercial, and I thought it was clone. No, because the lady with the accent calls him a clown. Gotcha. Oh, I literally thought she was saying clone. How did no. you fail to be a clone? I swear to God. Well, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's both. It's, it's multi- even, multiplicity. Fine, but there's, there's that I one scene I was going to mention I'm where there's a woman talking to him on the phone, talking to him, and she's like, you're not a clown. And I thought she was saying clone, because I don't know anything about the show. And he's like, it cuts to him, and he's like in his underwear in a motel, and he's like, I am! I am a clown! I am! And then there's like a maid cleaning, he's like, no, 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 don't, th- don't throw that away. Yeah. I thought that scene was pretty funny. It was all right. Hmm. Jeff doesn't approve. Did you see the trailer for 10 Cloverfield Lane? <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. The what fuck is that? It's So it's a spiritual sequel to Not Cloverfield. Spiritual, it's a cousin. Spiritual it's a cousin. successor. To or like a blood trailers. cousin or something. Yeah, like what the so it's, it, it, it takes, yes, it takes yeah. place in the same universe like as Cloverfield. Removed. It's called 10 Cloverfield Lane, and it's got Look, John Goodman, the Alyssa. Direct, uh, is Mary it related Lister. to Cloverfield? No, actually. <laughs> yeah. Married someone whole, and made so the like, movie. but it's, is the whole it's, thing filmed by T.J. Miller. No, it's uh, that'd be awesome. It's it's a it's a new one where it's like takes place in a bunker, and it's John Goodman is keeping like Mary Elizabeth Winstead and some other dude who I don't recognize like in his bunker, and then she escapes and makes it to the door and is like, oh my god, and that's all the trailer. The whole is. the the, the, the premise is because it was an, it was a the script had been around for a while. I think it got adapted into the Cloverfield uh, universe. This the. The premise is the lady's driving and she's in a car accident and she wakes up in the bunker oh, okay. and he's like the world is ended I'm keeping you alive I'm, I, I rescued you I saved you I'm keeping you safe and she doesn't know if she can believe him the entire time oh. and so she thinks he's like a psycho trying to keep her oh, so like she's trying captive to find out and she's is... trying to find out if the world's really ended or not Hello Yeah did you hear that dial <laughs> yeah, tone Yeah, yeah. that's fascinating Maybe <laughs> maybe we lost connection to the internet She's yeah. trying to, she's calling for dial up again <laughs> You've got mail Anyway She's like <laughs> Mom get off the phone I'm doing a Wait, podcast <laughs> Ah, damn it. Gotta reach oh, Can we all get on this call? You think, oh, 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 what do we. Oh. I think no, I'm no, all right, no, yeah, I no. guess not. <laughs> Missed our moment. Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, hey, uh, here we go. Yeah, here. So here's the trailer for it. So it looks like it starts off like, oh, it's a kind of a family thing. They're really playing the game of jowls. life. <laughs> and then I think the musical treatment they do with it's really cool. Yeah, it's uh. I mean, there's no music playing though, Jeff. What, what's, what was the? It was the song. It was like um, that guy's got a busted arm. Maybe he went down a slide. It was, yeah. Wait, is that the guy from Chuck? Zachary Levi? No. Is he no. banging a jukebox? Why? Well, he was dancing. He was dancing. It looks like no, that's not Chuck. I don't know who that is, but that is yeah, not it's like, Zachary oh, they're Levi. in a bunker, and then now John Goodman, he's got a gun, and she's handcuffed, and bad shit's happening, and he's flexing his fist. The original Cloverfield had a really good trailer with it. It's the, Scott uh, Pilgrim too. The Statue of Liberty head landing in the street. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I liked Cloverfield. I liked yeah. it as they well. Actually a lot of people didn't like it. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. I saw I it. Thought it I thought right. it was really good. Yeah, well, the, the trailer came out. I was like, what the fuck was that? Because there was like nothing associated with it. I think it just had a date. It did the same yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and, I mean, they nobody knew this movie was even in production. Shit. I mean, they barely showed it in the movie. Yeah. I guess they. And it's funny, like Cloverfield, that trailer hit on Transformers, the Michael Bay Transformers. That's right. And like it just was arrived and nobody knew it was coming. And that one hit on the new Michael Bay like gun movie. Yeah, What's the, the new gun thirteen movie? seconds. Thirteen or whatever. seconds, or yeah. The one about uh, uh, that TMNT two. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. it's like Seal Team Six, right? Or they actually no, changed... no, no, it's it's the Benghazi shit. Benghazi, yeah. yeah. They changed TMNT the size of six. the head gotcha. of the Statue of Liberty yeah. in the trailer. Raphael like, becomes a Navy. It was really tiny. I guess people were like, "That's bullshit. It's much bigger than that." So yeah. in the movie, it's like even bigger when it lands in the street. Yeah. So it's an odd like that must have cost a lot of money to replace. You couldn't fit four <laughs> Ghostbusters in there. Yeah. So. <laughs> Do you want to bitch about Ghostbusters again? No, nah, I'm good. Okay. The, uh, Dude, I made, I made, the, last, I made the Lego asking. Ghostbuster Firehouse. That thing is fucking cool. You love Lego. I yeah, love yeah. Legos. They're so and much you fun. You took uh, all the female Lego characters and just threw them away. All right. Ryan, 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 you're drawing yeah, this guy off. He's drunk on Diet Coke. Uh, now, literally, his thumbs are flubbing. It's, I'm scared every time. Not everything's a flub, Gavin. I think Jack has the same Sometimes water bottle as my 10 year old daughter. We discussed that. I got it at Costco. It was a whole thing. I got a two pack of these at Costco for like 10 bucks. It's glass. That's what I like. Are they both drinking double water? Are they the same color, Jack? Or did you get Different colors. Oh no, it's a, yeah, it was a green one and a blue one. Don't so. you need a membership Smart. for Costco? You do. Like, you sure you do. To, you pay totally to fucking yeah, worth it. Yeah, but it's super it. cheap. That's yeah. like saying, oh, okay. don't you need a membership to Amazon Prime? It pays for itself in like two seconds. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. I, I if you been. actually use Costco, like the only reason I don't have a Costco account is because I don't think Lindsay and I need it. The second I have a little shit human, I'm signing up to Costco. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, you got me my uh, my Keurig from Costco. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's like it's like I think sixty bucks a year or fifty five dollars a year, and you get crazy discounts. They have like they. 
have video games on sale for like ten bucks off. Like anything new is ten bucks off immediately. They have books for nothing. I, They've got you know. I uh, don't really even shop at Best Buy that much. Not for like small stuff. Like, I used to buy video games there and stuff like that. But I mean, I play Xbox One the most. So I buy the least amount of games at that at this point because yeah, it's all of work and shit. But um, I was buying Amiibos on there the other day, and now Best Buy has some sort of Best Buy gamer card oh, yeah, thing. Yeah. And it was 30 bucks, and I was like, I'm never gonna buy it. But for buying 30 bucks, I got, I think, $8 off three Amiibos. I was like, fuck it, and I just bought it. Yeah. it was, they sent a piece of cardboard to my house, like for the actual card with a barcode on it that I then now have to take to the store and hand to a cashier <laughs> to activate. Huh. Like, well, that's inconvenient. Yeah, that's super An email would have done that. Yeah, you know, thanks. I was like, I got three Amiibos and a piece of cardboard. Do you see Amazon Sweet. Prime now? You get uh, 20% off new games, I think, or 10 or yeah, 20% there was off something like that. new game purchases. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, all games are 48 bucks and also, it's a $60 you can game. Get unlimited photo storage mm-hmm. with Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah. That's Am- crazy. Amazon Am- Prime Amazon. is totally Imagine worth every it. Yeah. photo you ever took. Just he said in, Amazon. No. Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> I started a new game today. What's that? It's called Ford on Caleb. Oh, am I no, done? No, Are you serious? Uh, you to walk to do now wait, now uh, this, no. well, no, no, that's the question. Probably not very far because Caleb moved and now Jeff is moving up the corporate ladder. So oh. I feel like Jeff is now closer to but Caleb his, maybe? Do you that's think Jeff's desk is him? now right on top of Caleb? <laughs> that's best case scenario. Because Caleb's head is just right on top of Caleb. your chair. I, I still sit in the Achievement Hunter room. Sometimes, yeah. 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 yeah occasionally. Well, I'm not too busy. Once or twice. I mean, you don't really sit. You kind of levitate above the ground. Caleb's in a different room now, right? I don't know if that's... Like, and, like shit that we talk about. Yeah. And then, yeah. well, I mean, you basically have to walk. Room. Yeah, it was in different rooms. Room. Yeah. You have He's to walk out office. of the room. But I found that when I'm saving far, if I walk okay, far, man. I lose it. Like it goes, it retreats back. You, up the it's you more of like, it's or? more of like, when you're in the bungalow, when you're in the bungalow, you hold it in because you're like, you don't want to fart in the bungalow. I mean, and now there's a reason to fart in the bungalow. I didn't say that Caleb was working in the bungalow. You did. He moved offices. We're really just slowly peeling Maybe that's why Yvonne was here. She was about to yell at you for farting on Caleb. She was like, don't you fucking dare to say Caleb's in the bungalow. I'll kill you. I'm just I'm just bad at keeping farts right by the alley. Let's be honest. Who gives a shit about Caleb? Don't worry. I mean, it's not like... The audience hit. The audience just fast forwarded through this. Question. They're like, "Are they done with Caleb?" They fast forwarded a live program. <laughs> oh my god! Skip. It's basically Next. just shutting your Skip. brain off. Yeah. Caleb's never getting a tweet. Salt again. of the earth. Love him to death. Caleb. Love him. What the hell is that an expression? I still don't understand. Salt of the earth. I love it. It's great. People it's need salt. Like he's, like he's uh. People like grapes. Down. To... Where? People need people, salt. People like grapes. Yeah. I've heard that. Gavin was shocked at hearing something he said before. <laughs> I dare you. I dare like, you say that. Who the fuck would say that? Jeff, you're it's like, do we owe you money for how long you've been here? I did not yeah. anticipate coming and hanging out this long. I just wanted to get a little drink. I, I know for a fact you even to told us, like, I'll come by for like two seconds. Yeah, I, I, I was just like, I'm just going to get a fuck drink. Fuck you, and then you left. I feel like new busy like, okay. guy ain't so busy. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Do you think he just guy. like goes and stands in a closet and yeah, just like just fucking powers down? He just, just takes his there. briefcase and takes it. <laughs> <laughs> you should start having a briefcase. Oh, dude, I can make oh, a funny papers. joke. You can put crackers in there. I know. I, I, as soon as I said it, I was like, Jeff's gonna, he won't. Yeah. In his life. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I just didn't throw Gavin under the bus. Oh. In a huge way. Give, give him one every now and, and again. In a huge fucking way. <laughs> you suck. What? I don't know anything. Because I can't talk about your fucking... Uh, Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Don't start with that you can't talk about Gavin now. Now the speculation begins. Yep, I can go. see it in Gavin's eyes. So you're going to be Jeff, a father. Jeff oh, knew. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I know. I know everything about it. There's going to be all these Gavin in the briefcase. Like, fucking... <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Jeff always puts Gavin in the briefcase. He doesn't want to go in. It has nothing to do with it. Don't put baby in the briefcase! It's like, it's like Pulp Fiction. It's just like, what is in the fucking briefcase? We have to know! <laughs> <laughs> briefcase is the gold light inside. Fucking Bruce Willis gonna show up. With I like know it's katana. in the briefcase, but I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Is Meg pregnant? Wait, the whisper. mic's there. Don't whisper anything. <laughs> Some real Gavin worry. Well, go and you whisper in my ear over there. Fucking <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Man, nobody gets more uppity about shit being said than Gavin in yeah. content. It is. Well, there's a reason. Or let's play. It's true. There's, there's a reason. reason. It's because you're uppity. You like keeping secrets. That's it's like reason. Gavin's. So and so family member named. He's like, oh, 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 cut it, cut it. No one knows I have a family. Cut it. You <laughs> mentioned like... my brother. Cut it. It's true. It's family. <laughs> so my my brother who George, who's not his actual name. Cut my, it. My favorite thing about George, my brother George, is that his... who's not named George. George. I was yeah. asking him this the other day. His real name's his real name's Johnny. Oh, 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 o
this is live. Censor that shit. Damn. Damn. Say, Damn. My brother's name is Boop. Yeah. I would say like, maybe he has like 500 people who know him in real life. Okay. Five of friends. He's very popular. That's a lot of people. That is a that lot. Is a shitload of people. Well, that's but, why your parents like him. But 125 million people think he's called George. And that's what I love. <laughs> is that to the world, he's George. If you Google now. George now. Free, loads of results. If he Googles his actual name, nothing comes up. <laughs> But he has such that. an amazing video of him explaining a head going through an ass and yeah. coming out your own your mouth. If your head gets shoved in your ass, it would come out your own mouth. <laughs> hey, who's in charge of re whiskying this fucking place? Um, um, we I don't know. No, we got whiskey. We got Lafroy, that's it. We got that's still whiskey. We got Should we have like a re whiskey scotch. button? Scotch, yeah. Thank you. Isn't it Scotch whiskey? Well, scotch no, whiskey, Lafroy yeah. gives yeah. the stuff that tastes like dirt. Does it no, 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 does, it, does it say whiskey on the Pee. bottle though? Scotch whiskey. Okay, well then it's whiskey, so. It's different. It's half whiskey. It's not whiskey. bourbon. Alright, let me rephrase that. Fuck you, you're never here, I'm not of, buying shit for you. Who's in charge of re Here's the thing, Jeff, when you were like, oh, I'll be on the podcast, I stocked it for Jeff. Now you're never around. Should it be like well, listen, listen, when, when, B, when we decided to start this podcast, uh -huh. and I said, Michael, do you, you mean when you were told to start the podcast? When finally. Matt said, <laughs> Jeff, make a podcast. And I went, yeah. And I said, Michael, you're in charge <laughs> yeah. of the podcast. Yeah, he yeah. said, Michael, make a podcast. What was the first thing I said? I'll be on it. Sometimes. Right. Yeah, there you go. You did say Sometimes that. I'm on it. Yeah. I'm on it right now. Yeah. Should we turn this into like a FOGO thing where you have like a green card and a red card? Yeah. And, like oh, and they shit. just have to keep stocking booze until we put it red. I mean, it is kind of like that. I just don't tell them that. Looks like we've been red for a while. Yeah, but Jeff drinks all the booze. So I know, I know who's going to be on the podcast. And Jeff, who told me he wasn't going to be on today, I was like, he's not going to be on. I don't need to restock it yet. I and can't. Just I, shows I really, up. I can't. I'm too busy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell that from here. Ryan's yeah, getting You can smell it from uh, a foot away? Yeah, like, this is the stuff. Like, <laughs> things don't have that much <laughs> what kind of nose are you got going on there? <laughs> it, wow. Jeff is right in my super, face. Fucking superhuman. Ryan's right like the uh, $6 million dollar man. No, he's like Dolph Lundgren. Away. He's got a nose your for crying. <laughs> smell isn't gonna translate. It's the kind of smell that like average. it takes your breath away <laughs> like a, like a say, strong medicine. And there was a cake sitting it's here. It's like Ryan, yeah. smell. Ryan sits down at, at the dinner table at night with his wife and he's got like his fucking mashed potatoes and gravy and steak and like, <laughs> like side. He's like, wow. I can smell this food yeah. from here! Your opinion of <laughs> what's on my plate the food is real high. Yeah, his so, wife lights some incense. He's like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is that? This is magic! I'm being bombarded by apples. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> does your wife ever light incense? Have you smelled the shampoo? We got like those uh, scented candles. Do you have, nice. does anybody use those, um, I think they're called scenties, those discs. They're like they're like wax discs. So you have the you have the candle holder, which is really just like oh, a, is that the thing you flung. That's all the thing the I flung all over the wall. <laughs> it's just like a really hey, it's uh, Meg. hot light bulb inside the I like the Teddy. candle. I walked by. Not that. All right, go ahead. No, go ahead, Jeff. Uh, no, sure, no, why no, not? Go ahead. Sure, sure. Why not? <laughs> Let's Let's go ahead. Let's interrupt the story. I've been waiting. Be I walked guess. by earlier sure. today, and I heard Meg ask if she could pee on Ryan. No, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what's up. Saying it, they were she talking about ask. golden showers. Yeah. She didn't ask. She said it was medically she required. She demanded. She said. She said, "Can I she pee on you?" She said it was medically required. To which piss got her? me thinking. No, for her to piss I'm on. I'm connecting me. the dots. Gavin's into golden showers. Yeah. Yeah. So that's you got I've, golden showers to. and fingers in the butt. Yeah. Kevin's into some weird Doubling shit. Doubling down, dude. There, there was yeah. some, piss. So, so Ryan was talking about the flight piss. over to Australia, and he's like, it's me, and then there's an empty seat, and Meg, he's like, yeah, there's no one in between us. And I just looked at Gavin like, oh, you, you yeah, poor that thing. Was a, that wasn't on the podcast. That was a couple days ago in the office, but yeah. Yeah, there's true. no one in between us. Yeah, and here's hoping no one fills that seat. <laughs> Ooh. Man, it's a shame. Just because I don't want to. It's a it's shame you can't okay. make it, Gavin. Plenty of fish in the sea, Gavin. You're warm hands. <laughs> Let's be honest. If Little Gavin was on the plane, he would be way up at the front. It's true. Oh, Are you hitting on Jeremy oh. now? Oh. Thanks, Ted. Wow. Relationship's not quite over yet. Teddy, I'm wearing your dog. Damage control. Yeah. I mean, it's it's your dog too at this point. It's not. It's not remotely. But I mean, you've been it's living my, together it's for my years. Dog until it shits on the that's floor. That's like right? saying yeah. like you marry someone who has a kid and you've been married for like four years. You're like, that's your kid. It's like eh, that's kind of your kid. Have too. you have you fed that dog or picked up its shit yet? Yeah. Well, then not, it's your wait, dog. Yeah. In the two and a half years we've been. But you probably did it once. You picked up her shit maybe twice. That's 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 your dog. I, I've, I've seen, seen him do it once. Yeah. yeah one right. of the times is only because he's there. But how many times has room? Picked up its shit. Never. Never. Oh, okay. Never. oh dude. Thank God. Never. Fucking lady Roomba's broken. What? Dude. Oh. Well, they bought that new Roomba that controls well, for the I... phone. That's your opportunity to get So it. I took her it's apart. It's only a thousand dollars. She runs around and she she fucking for three days. I she she cleaned the house and I went to empty her trap and it was empty. Dude. She's not picking anything dude. up. She's My driving. Driving. She's driving, but she's not sucking. 
She's doing the mileage. I don't know. I'm a lazy you bitch. You need to switch her from blow <laughs> she, to yeah, suck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I brought Mr. Rumba down to clean the downstairs. To teach her a way lesson. more important. <laughs> but but then I, I, I was like, I was like, oh, I'll just take her apart, and I'm sure there's like a suck mechanism, like mechanism. Mechanism. Uh, I was like, there's a suck mechanism. Well, I can Ryan's pull never flubbed that badly. I tell you that. And, uh, <laughs> Epics. <laughs> and uh, I took her all apart, and I can't find what makes Roomba suck. <laughs> Imagine some sort yeah. of motor that spins. I got all kinds Dude. of spin, all kinds of stuff, nothing telling, nothing that sucks. I was and so I'll put her back together, but I have no faith that I... I mean, I cleaned so, her. There was shit in places. Why don't you just tape a vacuum to Are, are Mr. and Mrs. Roomba the same model? Or Lady, is one Roomba, 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 Lady Roomba, Mr. Roomba. Mr. Roomba. They are the same model. They're the 770. Okay, so that's the second She doesn't like seven, to eight. be... Seven. They don't marry. Look, because he's got the shittiest one. Put a bottle of whiskey on its head, and it can just be a bottle service. Well, well I was gonna say, I don't yeah, know if you have iPod. this. I, I, on occasion, she will bring me whiskey. I asked, <laughs> I asked Gavin like, about yeah. this, and brand he, of whiskey, fun. His doesn't have this because he mentioned the hair, like because Meg, like Lindsay, have fucking super long hair, and it gets wrapped up mm -hmm. in the Roomba, and it's like, ah, gah, 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 and it starts to starts to kill it inside. So. He said to me, "Make sure you cut you cut the hair out constantly from the from the wheel, so uh -huh. it doesn't get stuck." Yeah, about once a week. Yeah. But my Roomba, because I have like the middle one. There's five Roombas in the market, and I have yeah, the third right. one. I, I was the first to get a Roomba, and I got the cheapest one. Yeah, because I have. It's, it's still gonna suck up stuff. But no clearly, clearly it doesn't. Really though, not. Uh, because lady yeah. because your sucks. Apparently, from what I'm hearing. Exactly. I have two little tabs. I hit that, and then a door flips open. I can just pull out the wheel and just pull the hair right off. And just put it back in. Really? Yeah, it just yeah. goes. Oh, you don't have that? To me, they just. Oh, ours is like a brush. That fucking it ships top you, notch. It ships yeah. you like a box cutter. To it see, ships you like a, a red, a box, red cutter. box cutter like this, and you just go. See, he said and that, and I looked, off. and I didn't have anything, but it probably because That's this why. model just opens, and you can just peel it off, so it's all like coiled. So, the, here's my dilemma. Yeah. I'm going to put Lady Roomba back together this weekend, okay. and I'm going to test her out. And if she doesn't suck, you have to get. I don't know what to replace. Should I just buy the new iPhone? Remote? Oh, for sure. You, you should. should. Here's oh, why. Here's and why. You should give me your sweeper mode. Here's why. My, my <laughs> wife is in Australia right now. Yeah, she, oh, she can't stop she me. She can't so, disapprove of it. But here's the You have to do it. You got to do it before you go to Australia. Honestly, I also, like, I've met Griffin. She won't notice it's a different Roomba. She doesn't care about that stuff. She thinks it's stupid. Oh, it's stupid. Don't tell it's her. It's stupid to spend a thousand you're, you're, dollars on a robot Do you cleaner. think you can really get a Roomba like cozy? Dude, Roomba is the best thing ever. Like, awesome. I, I, can, I can The cheap one is great. I can buy all of them. Here's why she better. thinks it's stupid, all right? Because she's like, e listen, I, I'm not, she's not vacuuming regardless. Right. That's my job. Yeah. Okay. So either I'm vacuuming or my little robot's vacuuming. Right. It doesn't matter. I like that's just like she doesn't want my life to be easier. Right. Right. Dude, it's, it's stupid. But you were already doing such a good job vacuuming on your own. But the crazy you don't thing need a the robot. Roomba is like you can vacuum for like an hour and then set that thing to go. It will fill up like three more times. The like Roomba the, the Roomba is, is awesome. The, the, the awesome. Thing, my house is like ten times cleaner than. Did my Did you guys talk about how Gavin tried Roomba. to tried to use his fame to get a free Roomba? In a yeah. <laughs> we didn't talk yeah. about it. No, yeah. but. Well, like, like there's always a, <laughs> what? He was like. No, because, hints on Twitter. Well, this, yeah. this is the conversation because we, uh, Lindsay and I just got a Roomba. And like I said, we got like the third model, like yeah, right in the middle Christmas, right? of the five. We got it from. Uh, Here's Lindsay's what happened. Here's That's what happened. a great kid. So I then see, like, he I decided, see, like, I, I want a better Christmas. Roomba. Yeah. So then he's like, I want the most expensive one, but I'm not gonna pay for it. It's ridiculous to spend a thousand dollars on a basically it's, a four hundred dollar Roomba. It's not ridiculous. It's, it's not. No, it's it's ridiculous. not though. It's, it's better. All right, I see all these vloggers. They get free stuff because they're vloggers and all that stuff. So I was like, I mean, I have like. I don't know, more Twitter followers than most people who own Roombas. How? So I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can use this number and I'll get like the best Roomba. And then they told me to do one. So, but yeah. the best part about that you is deserve. Gavin's DM was something like, "Eh, eh? I in that uh, that model. I don't know what number it was. That model's like, eyeing me. Up. I in that uh, super expensive Roomba. Won't you slap it my way?" Dead sign. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to say like, hey, was give like, me a Roomba. I was, was like, like new Roomba like, in it. That's what you meant. Uh, yeah, it is what I meant. I didn't want to say I what I meant. thousand dollars on a Roomba. Give me your Roomba. So, so, so the key is now Roomba hopefully watches this podcast. Give me a I Roomba. Roomba. Give, no, no, everyone, everyone else yeah, Roomba. Everyone Roomba except for Gavin. Honestly, and we will just Listen, can I just say, I have two floors, right? And I have the middle model Roomba. 
I would gladly take another middle model yeah. Roomba for my second floor. I have you know what I did? Well. I would I take one of your side for my existing one. <laughs> I have two floors. <laughs> I bought back two order. Roombas. Yeah. yeah. And you got, you, you got an extra house I, though, I bought so. zero. So. You got three floors. I don't have any. I don't have a Roomba in the There you go. I'm saying I got two floors. I'm in Michael's boat. I got one, but I need another one. I'm not spending Dude, do you know how much how heavy it is to carry the Roomba upstairs? Oh man. Even with the handle, it's still like, oh, that's such a pain in the ass. It's like, I look at it like this. It's a lot of work for one Roomba. Like a Roomba deserves a break, right? I don't make my yeah. Roomba work seven days a week. I don't, yeah. My Roomba's not a slave. My downstairs Roomba, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Clean the house today, little Roomba. Oh, I, dude, you yeah, get three I, days a week? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. Roomba's work six days a week. I don't know. I, know. I, I get one day off. I get Sundays off. off. Hey, Sunday off. Hey, Sunday off. Hey, Sunday off. They get Saturdays off. My Roomba's get Saturdays when off. When I'm there on, they on the weekend, on Friday when night. I'm there on the weekend, don't bother me. It's like being at a hotel and I put like the do not disturb what time sign do on. What time do your Roomba's go? 9.30 a.m. Oh, mine are 10. I'm out of the house at 10. set a Roomba to go every single day of the week. Everybody but the dog and the cat are out of the house. <laughs> so yeah. a See, sometimes, like at my absolute <laughs> latest, I'll leave at 9.30, so I hear, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. Yeah. it's like, time to go. Yeah. Roomba's, Roomba's got hold of the no, house. Nothing is better when the Roomba f like parks itself and finishes. It has that little chime, little happy chime. <laughs> yeah, this is a rare occurrence, because usually it's chewing up some underwear. <laughs> See, my <laughs> Roomba, my Roomba right. literally, I think, if maybe Roomba, a dozen runs, if one Lady time Roomba makes it into Gr Millie's room, it's over. <laughs> it's game over. My puzzle piece. And my fucking wife does something. I'm gonna I don't know if you guys ever experience, experience this. My wife does this thing where like Roomba will be annoying to her and she yeah. doesn't want to hear it or whatever. She so she'll just she turns it upside down. <laughs> oh! So then like, oh, that's just, oh, that's like I don't Roomba. always see it. That's like flipping a turtle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, it is like flipping a turtle. Yeah. So I don't always see it, and then uh, at some point she'll like if the battery will die after a day or two, and then she'll like turn it back and plug it back in. So then its fucking clock is off. Oh, yeah. So then Roomba go off at like one in the morning, and she's like, "You goddamn Roomba did it again." And I'm like, it's because of you! You did it to Roomba! It's not Roomba's fault! <laughs> you did it to Roomba! Did I tell you about this, the, the time when I came back to the studio when I was still living in there and my Roomba was upside down and wet? And you had no idea how! <laughs> I had no idea why! I assume, probably like, went in there. I assume it like tripped on a wire and like drove up it, flipped over, and like it also been in the shower a little bit earlier. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, what are, what are you doing? Like, Roomba's throwing parties midday. Just <laughs> get passed out. Like, oh, oh, God. Speaking of, I, was, I was wishing the dog and the cat. Fucking the cat? The leg? L little Ruby? Yeah. She has, I think, broken her tail. Oh no! It happens. Oh, yeah. it She's it happens. been hissing at us a lot lately. When we try to pick her up and stuff, and I thought maybe about maybe we should kill her. Yeah, <laughs> that she's just like what? You gotta well, pet the cat. That went zero to a hundred immediately. I go to the pet the cat. And well, she, you know it's like fuck you. Well, what you gotta die. die. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> she does that anyway. She's a mean cat. No, way worse than ever. And she and, and Griffin, Griffin and the cat have really bonded. And the cat's been extra hissy. Well, she's Griffin. out. Of, she's out of the country. And she's then we saw her walking the, the other day, and the cat's tail goes like this now. Like he goes like. Uh, yeah. I wonder if she trapped it in a door. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's just I don't know. Just pull, it like pull it I understand why she's been pissed is off. It like, so I guess oh, it's a vet back. Like, does it have like areas <laughs> that. that it could dislocate? Are you a well, vet? Well, it's, it's multiple bones, isn't it? Isn't I thought about believe it or not, that didn't come with a full education. I thought about like grabbing her by, by the back of the head and then take and just pulling the tail as hard as I could. That'll work. And seeing if it like goes back together. But I think I should. No, she'll open up and there's a prize. Just take her to the vet. Yeah, she's a Kinder Egg. No, I'll just take her to the vet and let them do it. Oh. But I, feel I feel like, bad now. I feel, I feel bad like for the cat. as the cat, that if your tail snapped, that would feel very satisfying. Like, especially if it was sideways. It's like when you dislocate like your I don't, arm I don't and know, like pop it back in. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but you look at it and you go, like, that tail is wrong. Yeah. Or was it, it like, so it's like go straight, but it's like that or something? Tails, like don't look, tails don't look like that. Well, all right, well, imagine if you had broken your arm and someone said, got it, and just grabbed <laughs> your wrist and went like that on your arm. Do you not ever get like an elbow that won't click and then you need someone to like yank on it or like pull yeah, your Yeah, but arm. are we talking about a broken tail or a tail that's just out of place? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> is there between out of socket and broken in half? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'll, my only experience with dislocations is Hollywood movies, and no one ever looks happy when it goes back in. Right? <laughs> Have you ever seen Best of the Best? When it's got uh, Eric Roberts, and they please pull it, pull it, pop it, and he pops it out. And they Love it. Eric Roberts. Great movie. No, you okay. don't. What? Who is that that's like always like slamming their shoulder into stuff to put it back in the action uh, movie? Bruce, that was Bruce Willis, right? No, 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 no. It was a uh, uh, lethal weapon. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Gibson. That was a yeah, shtick. Did you guys tits. see the? Uh, did you guys see the? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was real life. The Golden Globes thing between was Ricky Gervais and Mel Gibson. Sugar tits. That yeah, was real life. Well, no, the, was the Ricky Ricky Gervais thing? The, 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 the Ricky Gervais. The, the Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais yeah. just talked shit about that. It. I don't it was pretty know. funny. And then Mel Gibson came up, and Ricky Gervais had left his beer on the podium, and Ricky Gervais like runs up and is like, that was pretty funny. I can't believe you told me about this like 
Apparently, I've been trying out. to get, I've been trying to get to the bottom of it all like, week. We want to know what happened between Gervais, Merchant, and Pilkington. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. none of them work together anymore. Maybe since maybe 2013. Tell you guys. Yeah. Well, like, I mean, Hello Pilkington Ladies was only Merchant. Derek was only Gervais. And well, Gervais. Life. Well, it was only Gervais and and Carl, but Carl left the show. But like, he, he left. Off. He left on the show. Like he was in the second season, and his character left. They the wrote show. him out because yeah. he left. But he was, he was like, the I'm not best doing this part anymore. of Derek. And then he signed, he was, absolutely. Then he signed on but it, uh, it, to it do was, The Morning of Life without Ricky But Idiot Abroad, wasn't that during Derek? I mean, it wasn't no, before. No, that was before. It was, it was all before? Yeah. Idiot oh. Abroad was like 2010. <clears throat> really? Yeah. 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 Hmm. And now Gervais is making a David Brent movie, <clears throat> and Merchant's not involved. And when you watch the two, like when you watch Derek and when you watch Hello Ladies, you realize that 90% of the cringe comes from Merchant. Yeah. In the well, I'd say, not, not to be offensive, but you realize that Merchant may be a lot funnier than Ooh. Damn, Why would that be offensive? He was the because best part of the Tooth Fairy. He just he loves him. <laughs> Shut down. Hello, ladies. Is I love fucking Steve Merchant. Hilarious. Yeah, it's, it's like it's the best. Derek it's great is Wheatley. just uncomfortable. I like Hello, ladies a lot more than Derek. Yeah. Which which one's Derek? Is that the one when he's working at the like the old people's home? I yeah. watched one episode of that, and I'm like, yeah, Ricky Gervais gonna watch this. I watched one episode and was like. This, I don't want to watch this. Yeah, this, this is, is not a comedy. I can't is, make it. Is, it is, I have not, like depressing. I've, I've, I've watched funny moments. I've watched three episodes. I, I watched one it. episode and I was like, nope. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> I'm <laughs> good. I was just, like yeah. inspecting the office and I'm like, this is depressing. This yeah. is not funny at Gervais all. This is not extras. It's Gervais not. loves like tragic There's comedy. No, yeah. Did you ever sit down to watch the fun. Gervais uh, Gary Shandling interview? I watched the first five minutes where he's like. Gervais is like making a comment about he's putting in his contacts over the sink and yeah. stuff. And he's like, what are you trying to control here? Like, what? <laughs> I've done this for years. And it's like, so, and Gervais keeps laughing uncomfortably. I know. And then he keeps walking off and Shandling that never goes with him. And just, it's, it's like bullying. The whole thing where like Gervais goes outside and Shandling's like, do you think I was behind you? Do you think I was following you? Yeah. It, like, Shandling really, was mean. It was really hard to watch. Well, he was Hydra. So. And it just gets worse. <laughs> it just gets worse. And knowing how much Gervais loves Shandling. Yeah, that'd Makes be like it that much harder. That'd be like if I came to interview you and you you were, you were mean to me. Dude, what, yeah, I mean, please do that. What are the odds <laughs> that it was a bit like that? Shanley was in not on good, it? not good. Really, not good. It's it's uncomfortable. He's not that good of an actor. And it's like it's like the two kings of uncomfortable comedy together. You would think maybe they would do something, but it's it's that nobody in the world is that good of an actor. Mm. I don't think. It, like he, it, I read an interview with Shandling from like really recently where he talked about it, and it was he was apparently like him and Gervais were on different levels that day, like different mindsets. What? No. Go ahead. <laughs> and apparently, like, Shanley was trying to bring Gervais, like, d from high energy down to sort of, like, chilling, but he just wouldn't do it. And they were both trying to, like, match with each other somewhere, but it just wasn't happening. Like, like, uh, like when I, we were trying to get you to act on Laser Team? Also, <laughs> supposedly, oh, supposedly, like, the, the way it happened <laughs> was, like, Shanling was doing some sort of a Larry Sanders show DVD box set or something, and he wanted Gervais to do a part on it. Yeah. And then Gervais wanted him to, to do the interview with him, and so they didn't, like... There was some confusion over what they were filming, and Shanling literally walked into his house, and Gervais was already filming the interview portion. And yeah. He didn't know that that was. He what was, was going like on. combative from the get. -go. And Shanling was like just pissed off, like, "What the fuck is going on? What are you doing in my house filming this?" If you thing? don't know who Gervais wow. or Shanling are, just Google the interview <laughs> and just be prepared for. Uncomfortable, it's like fourteen minutes. Of, it's really minutes. hard to watch. And, but, uh, uh, and Laser Team's a movie. Yeah, but there Laser is a, a great movie. There is a really funny Gervais Sponsor. joke. Sponsor. When you know, Shandling is making, yeah. yeah, sure, yeah, Ted, yeah, yeah, Lazy and uh, he spells with a Z. Uh, yeah. I wonder where they got that from. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, <laughs> Are you in the movie? No, no, I'm not. Oh. I'm actually not in the movie. My name is. Jeff, Jeff, my name is in the Jeff movie. and I have a deleted scene where we're in it together, and it's uh, not in the just movie. Touching each other. Yeah. yeah, it's just me and Jack Jack and each yeah, other. Just, He's Jeff and you all. Yeah, he calls yeah. he calls it Jeff and I'm Jeff. Yeah. Uh, but there is a moment when like Shandling shitting on Gervais for wearing all black, and he's like, "This is how you dress up for an interview." And he's like, and he just like keeps hounding him for it and hounding him for it. And he's like, "Come on, tell me why you're wearing black. Tell me why you wear black." And he's like, "It's just what I wear every day." And he's like, "Why do you wear it?" And eventually Gervais goes, oh, "It's it's slimming." He goes, "That's what I was looking for." And it's really funny. He's like, "We all knew it. I just wanted to hear you say it." Like, and Gervais is kind of demoralized. So and Shandling is wearing like some, I don't know, just just like it's like a he's wearing like a tan poncho. Like, no, it's like a baby blue shirt and like a little tan jacket over it. Sorry. And Drake goes, what's what's with that? Like and Shanling goes, uh, it's like the most masculine thing I have. And <laughs> Gervais makes a face like he goes, that's the. All right. But it's it's the best moment of it. And it's just Gervais like having one moment of revenge against Shanling. It's <laughs> very you should watch the rest of it just to see that. It's very fun. I, I assume the Christopher Guest one wasn't as uncomfortable. I didn't see it. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I didn't even know it was a show until. I, and the only reason I found out about that is I was just I googled the Golden Globes to see his like his uh, monologue. Was it, it wasn't, funny? It was all right. 
Mm -hmm. It was not great. It was not the. It was probably the weakest one I've seen that he's done. Interesting. Yeah, he did make a funny joke about how uh, <laughs> Tina Fey and uh, mm -hmm. Amy Poehler. <laughs> Ah, just watch it. It's good. Oh no, go on. Yeah. So anyway, you were saying <laughs> they something. Have a meeting to get to. You maybe? were saying something about a about a air freshener. I was. I was. I was mentioning <laughs> so a What's funny? It's funny. The only reason I even remember that was a conversation because I went out to take a piss. I was like checking Twitter as I was peeing, and I was like, right, the Senti. Yeah, right. Senti. That's what I forgot about that. Yeah. But that's where we're we're back at. That no, was ages ago. Well, before that, oh, okay. I'm gonna go into the ad read. Oh, okay, right. but uh, dude. I'm just gonna read this. Everybody in the studio has some serious watch envy. I can see it. Would you like Jack? Give me a Diet Jack. Coke. That's good. I wish I had mine on. Jack wish he brought his. I wish I had. I got a poor naked. Jack, wrist. I can see it in your eyes because Movement Watches sent me some watches. I got this one, and I also gave you one. So yeah, you yeah, that's awesome. Movement Watch as well. But this is a Movement Watch that's MVMT. Uh, check them out. It was a little crowdfunded brand that is revolutionizing the watch game. They're starting to get a lot of press from GQ, Playboy, and Hypebeast, and uh, Achievement Hunter. Off topic, hello. That's, I don't know why that's not on the ad read because that's where the most important. Ask Men said they are the hottest watch company on the market. They're all about the idea that high quality doesn't have to break the bank. And they actually deliver. Probably why they have over 1 million social media followers. Quality crafted watches starting at just $95. If you try to get a watch like this at a department store, you'd be spending at least $400 to $500. Their style is minimalistic, clean, and sleek. You could wear this thing at the office during the day or out to the bars at night. It's a new, it's sharp, and it's an all-day wear. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, I like like it. I, it's been my fancy watch I've been wearing. You know, I have to do some of that laser team nice promotion, watch. and I was like, dude, I'm, I'm gonna do an interview. Put this watch on. They're like, excuse me, what time is oh, it? Oh yeah, let me see. And I'd like to point out, like, a lot of people get bent out of shape because I'm wearing it on my right arm, and they're like, oh, you're right-handed, so you're wearing it on your right arm because it's to the camera, which makes sense if I wore it on my left Jack, arm. Don't or leave hanging. they're like, listen, you could be lefty nice. and you're wearing it on your right arm. No, I am right handed and I am wearing it on my right hand because that's just how I do it. Yep. I just don't, Gavin gets mad about it. He says it's wrong. I do it anyway. I like it. I like looking at my right hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. You got the little MVMT right there on the watch. It looks nice. Jack. Even though you own one, really, you could use it. You could really use the help. But I'm going to help you get your style on point. So check out MVMTWatches.com slash off topic. And we're hooking you up with 15% off your entire purchase. That's MVMTMovementWatches.com slash off topic. So if you go there, check out the watches. 15% off your entire order. Get a bunch of watches. You know, for different occasions. Yeah. You got a lot of people dying. Whole funerals, you know. I just went to a funeral. Watch, dead watch. You went to a I funeral. Could have used, I went to a funeral last week. Could have used an MVMT I had a watch. family death. I didn't go to the funeral. I was at a funeral last Friday. No watch. People would have been like, your watch game is on point. That guy's dead. But, or lady, you know, depending on where you're going. Jack, it's all right. Uh, but, you know, movement watches, MVMT, watches.com slash off topic. You look great at every funeral you attend. <laughs> Did you just put Diet Coke and scotch? Yeah, expensive yeah. scotch wait, wait, wait. too. Yeah. I thought scotch, you know, quiet taste. You got to drink it. He gave it. Matt shit about it. Yeah. Why aren't you sipping it? You made sweet. Because he's just, fucking. Are you done? Did your quiet fuck. taste go just straight yeah. back down? Right? No, no, that's no, what no, he, that's what he, he does on this new level. Matter. This new level, they mix shit that you're not supposed to mix. You, so just, I'm breaking all the rules. Five year ago, Jeff would hate you right now. Five years. Five years ago, Jeff was okay, not Jeff. at the level that Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Gavin. Gavin's Five years ago, Jeff was still wearing the shirt in the field, just like picking flowers. He he hadn't started the run yet. Five years ago. Well, no, never mind. I was gonna say five years ago, Jeff was emerging. Jeff. Five years ago, I will earlier, say this. Five years ago, wasn't. five years ago, Jeff was it's like yeah, seven years ago. Eyebrows. Jeff was he was amazing. His no, that's not true. Five years ago, Jeff, you did do the zombie immersion. So yeah. Technically, you still yeah. did it. Yeah. Yeah. I did about yeah. that five that was years ago. Less than five years. That was the last immersion. Four and a half years ago. I was all about getting new eyebrows. Like. Oh, Replace motherfucker, though. Bernie came out and said, this motherfucker, he wants him to be a lab rat in Australia. I saw. Fuck that. Oh, what the fuck? You know, can I tell you something? They tried to do that earlier, and I killed it. What does like, that about mean? About a month ago. They what? were like, yeah, we're going to take every employee you've ever had, and we're going to use them all forever and other stuff. Oh, yeah? And I was like, no, I've drawn the line. You were like, I'm drawing the line. But seriously, see ya. Yeah. 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 How do you feel about having this guy above your career just like deciding? Just put it down. It's, it's like I'm a puppet just dancing on the strings. But hey, whatever. That's true. It's a pretty good ride That's so true. far. Jeff's got one, Meg's got the other. That's funny you mention that. Did you see that Mad King fan art with Which the one? puppet? There's actually fan art as just very uh, oh. appropriate to what you're talking about. And it's the Mad King holding... 
Uh, he's got like those little, I don't know what they're called, Marionette. they're X's. Oh, yeah. The, the thing that attaches to the marionette, the little puppeteer things the strings are attached to. And on one hand is Mogar, and the other is X-Ray and Vat. I do see it, Making us dance like puppets. If it wasn't for me, this yep. loser would still be in fucking <laughs> Corpus Christi sucking AT&T's dick. Instead, that was he here. lives in Austin, and he's sucking AT&T's No, that was just <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I remember when Ryan got here, he's like, don't work for AT&T anymore. Yes, like, I just do. wait for it. <laughs> wait for it? <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. It's only been an hour and 30 minutes. Jeff, do you, do you want to see? Yeah, the, I was going to mention this to you and Jeremy yeah. earlier. Yeah, well, Jeremy, Jeremy finally left. Well, Jeremy was here for 40 minutes and said absolutely nothing. Oh, wait, Jeremy finally left? But I was, was going to say when I slipped away. Yeah, yeah, what I was going to say was there are two fucking extra stools right there. Yeah. You guys were standing for so long. Again, I asked. I thought you were just you, working your glutes. Literally, I said, Jeff, you're, you know, you're going to be on the podcast next week in Australia because uh, I'm not fucking going. Do you want to be on this week? And you're like, absolutely not. I'm too busy. I have no time. And now you just pulling up a seat. So. Welcome. Well, I mean, Jeff doesn't like the expectation, okay? It's true. He's like, I can leave. I'll just do it. He can leave at any time. No. That's what he likes. Yeah, you, we're know, you, you know what leave. it is? Can I be honest with you? Yeah, what's up? I just like you guys so much. No. I haven't seen you guys lately, and I've guys, missed you. Guys, guys, guys. You know, I have. I haven't watched down. Sunny yet, Jeff. I know. Two episodes. I have been. At, we're six episodes behind on the You know where you're going to be next week? Fucking Australia. I have flown eight weeks in a row. Next week will be nine. I'm going to fly. If I. I'm. I don't have a plan yet, but if I fly the first week of February, like if something comes up and I fly the first week of you February, because I'm flying the second and the third, I will fly something like 15 weeks in a row. I think you could hit executive platinum this year. I was, I yeah, I should. Guys, I think you should try. I, I think Jeff is dying. That's why <laughs> oh, he's yeah. here. That's why he's here. <laughs> He's trying to he's trying to get it get his last respect. Yeah, in the audience us. can see it in his eyes. Don't bring it up. We we got we got, we got, we got, we got, we got Rickman. We got Bowie. We got the third one's coming. No, the third one was Lemmy. Yeah, well, he, was the oh, yeah. First. Lemmy. he was the first. Oh yeah, yeah. He was the first. Wasn't that the or even Natalie, uh, Natalie Cole too. She was it's all, it's just like it's like sandwiched in. Yeah, just out of the air, just the proximity. No, but today there's another one. Yeah, today Natalie Cole. She was Natalie Cole died. That King Cole. I thought he was dead. Natalie Cole died like weeks ago though. It wasn't today. She died a while ago. She died before, before, like, I, I would say this within the can. three. Who's dead? Who's dead? Somebody's dead. Who's dead? Who's dead? Somebody's dead. <laughs> someone, someone not as That's, important, I guess. Can that be the name of the episode? Who's <laughs> yeah. dead? Here's All what's topic number seven. Yeah. Here's what's happening. Who's it's dead? Dead. English. It's English guys age sixty nine, and I'm not going to say. Well, Lemmy was seven. Of of someone who rhymes with Flim Flurry, who is sixty nine. Oh, Flurry don't you dare! But it doesn't. Don't you dare curse Here's him. You know what? You son of a bitch! I'm not saying. Holy. God but damn it! No, you know what though? Put it's not a put curse. Flynn Flory out of his misery. It's I, not a curse. He's not been doing great for the last several years. I know. Years. He's Dude, like David stroke. Bowie, I, Alan Rickman. Apparently, no. apparently they both had cancer they for the last couple years. Yeah. They did. Well, yeah, but still. Oh. Dude, I just showed. Uh, I showed Katie Clue. That movie is what? so fucking Clues good. Clues are fantastic. So, amazing. so much energy in that movie. Yeah, he's all just uh, dude, that around. Titanic you know the movie best part when about he rapes that chick in the shower. <laughs> fucking leaving. This is it's nothing but body. energy from Tim Curry. Leaving. It's yeah. like yeah. The leaving. He's the head. He's a. He's the lead singer of Fear, one of the best punk bands of all time. Ah. He's the worst part of that movie. He's the best part about that movie. <laughs> it's such a bad actor. Oh, Celine so Dion's great. husband died. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He, he was did. old. He was old though, right? Yeah. He yeah. knew her when she was twelve. Oh. Yeah. Well, no, he was seventy-three, and he's only four he? years older than. It's like that SNL sketch. Right? Meet your second oh, wife. Right, that's less bad. <laughs> Guys, uh, most deaf has been ordered to leave South Africa. Oh. How did he get in? He acted his way. I'm gonna guess he used a plane. Man. Anybody watch the Republican debate last night? No, I didn't. This I mean, you add in the cricket noise after that. And that's. I was trying. I saw. I saw highlights from it. It was, just, it was all Trump and Cruz. A lot, right? lot, they, lot of lot of fear, a lot of anger. Yeah. Jack, how'd stuff. you do? Um, Did Trump demand something to happen that we, uh, happened again? Yeah, oh, yeah, he was like, release those. those well, to be fair sailors. to Trump, there there were more sailors that hadn't been released. So, oh my yeah. god, it just reminds me of the Trivial Pursuit. Let's you know, play. I was oh gonna bring that up. We did a Trivial Pursuit. Let's play. Okay, let me ask. Let me ask. Let me ask Jeff a question. It became. Don't spoil it. You know when you get to choose between two things and every question is related to one of those two things? Mm -hmm. except pick which, which you one? have five questions in a row and it's A or B. Democratic I know. Democratic Party, Republican Party. Mm -hmm. How many questions did Jack get right? Uh, he missed the first question. Right? 
Jack, on politics? Some may say. I may have missed the first question. Some, some may say. We don't, Jack's an opinionated retard. Oh. It's, it's, here's, here's what happened. Com- I'm not filmed, looking forward to the comments two on that trivial one. We pursuits the other day. And I would say, actually, Jeremy came out on yeah, top Jeremy's... of both parts. Like, part one, Jack, it's all Jack. Yeah, it right near the end, it's not. I lo- yeah, why'd you guys part two, trivial pursuit without me? Part two, we both, Gavin and I both when are you there? Yeah, yeah, you're never fucking here. You're never yeah, but it's my favorite. You're never in trivial. Jack, I never, I'm in, I'm in, oh, fuck you. We just filmed another Worms without you again. Only because he's trying to make it like I'm not in all the worms. <laughs> what does that mean? I didn't do anything. We were like, want to film worms? Yeah, Jeff's not here as usual. Let's film worms. I think it was Ryan's idea to film worms. It was. Uh, <laughs> I did like 16 worms. worms videos. Out of 19. <laughs> out of estimate. <laughs> <laughs> out of 20. Anyway, so Trivial more Pursuit. Than Ray. A lot of fun. It was, yeah, it was uh, one first, of the few times we, 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 Jack, we filmed two, and it was just, well, it was, it was funny was because this is the first one Jack was like, "Please, me. audience, I'm sorry." <laughs> yeah. In the video, in the video, <laughs> mid video, I'm like, "Oh, this is not so, gonna be good for me." And he t- I walked in the room, and he goes, "Jack, goes, I'm like, what'd you guys film while I was going?" He goes, "Oh, dude." <laughs> he goes, it was, "I oh." It was in between part one and two, so we stopped filming. I go to the bathroom, and there's somebody in the urinal next to me. Are you going to normal or secret bathroom? Normal bathroom. Oh yeah. So I'm. Secret I'm, bathroom has too many. So I'm going. Stinks, I'm going to weed. Right? It does stink. The hallway stinks. They don't, they don't, they don't clean it. it. That's who the cares. thing. So, so I'm going to the bathroom. What do you mean? Who cares? It smells awful. So you just deal with a little bit of smell for two minutes. And nobody. Nobody ever comes in. I mean, that's worse you than drink a foot away. Extreme that's like you're in it. <laughs> Yeah, I guess with Ryan's superhuman. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> it screams. It's dolphin. There's a butthole in my nose. So I'm standing there going to the bathroom. I walk in. There's already a guy standing there. <laughs> He leaves, another person comes in, I'm just doing the look straight ahead, don't acknowledge who's next to me, so I don't know who it is. I finish using the bathroom, I flush, I go to the sink, I'm washing my hands, and then Jack just starts talking to me, like, oh shit, it was Jack next to me, I didn't even know it was Jack. And he's just like, god damn it, man. And I'm like, what's up? And he's like, that fucking trivial pursuit. And he's just hitting his head <laughs> on the wall of the bathroom, and I go, look at it this way, as bad as the audience is gonna be, at least Jeff wasn't That's there. true, if Jeff yeah. was there. If Jeff was there, I would, that would have been it. Like, I would have like, left the room. All of your like, comments it, are done. still going to be just as brutal when it comes out and you see it, but your comments won't be in the video. Yeah. So it'll <laughs> yeah, be better. Yeah. I was like, that's your best case scenario. What Jeff I like about Trivial Pursuit is that with every other Let's Play, you can kind of like steer your own performance. You're like, oh, you know, it's going this way. Yeah. So like, you can kind of tell if like the audience is going to hate you or not. But with Trivial Pursuit, it's just, you have no control. It's yeah, just knowledge yeah, it's based. Like, oh, it's just don't be stupid. And the other thing is, the end matters more. You could be great the whole game if yeah. you just, pfft, in the last two yeah. rounds. You're yeah, that's all that done. matters. Just getting to that final round. It's just maybe what in the happens. middle. In the middle of that story, I, remi- I was reminded that I uh, I farted in your Advil today. <laughs> 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 I saw him. We do were talking it too. about that we earlier. About yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say have anything. A bad headache in future. I'm gonna take a fart. How does that work? So like your now headache you goes away, but you got a stomachache. I stuck it work? way up in my butthole. <laughs> I got really in there. Well, that's the other thing, too. Like, Jeff will almost put smaller shit, like, practically in his anus. Like, he'll pass the walls of his own anus to really get it well, in there. Well, he doesn't take the pants And then reseal off. it. Yeah. No, but he, he might push the pants into his own anus Do you just want to hook up a hose that, like, ends at your chair and, you like, can, comes out yeah, in front you of my mouth? <laughs> Right? Just fly in and just then a blood catheter Gavin. that goes all the way over. What if it what if it was just like a hose that went from your anus into a gas mask that Gavin wore? Yeah. <laughs> he just oh, I had like, so like, 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 jackass right? too, right? Yeah. They jackass too, they had the <laughs> pressed him on his shit. Yeah, yeah. Back, like, like, he shit himself he into it. He threw up everywhere. Yeah, inside the dome <laughs> helmet thing. Oh. Steve, Steve always said that it was just like the idea of it made him vomit. Like he didn't even smell like the shit or the fart. Oh, did you talk to him about that specifically? Yeah. Oh yeah, weren't you there? No, he well, probably was. I it might have been the second day when I got out of there, <laughs> when I had had enough Steva. I was like, dude, you're awesome. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Let Get me a check photo my movie and watch. Out. He is a fucking awesome dude I love Steve-o and a legend. So much. But a little bit of Steve goes a long way. Never stops. <laughs> he never stops. He's like he never he kicked the shit out of the Energizer bunny. Yeah. I'm ready for Steve again. I could do it again. I can do it again. Yeah. You're ready for well, him he, to he, set he, another part of your house well, on hey, fire. Well, hey, we got a. I got you a hundred shot glasses. It's true. So, what are we gonna do with that? You got any ideas? I just throw. You got a hundred shot glasses. Kevin went like this. I was at I was at Amplifier really yesterday. Threw him for I, a didn't, I didn't know what happened. And, uh, I was at Amplifier yesterday, and Macon I hadn't seen Macon in a while. He was like, "Hey, you, uh, do you need a hundred shot glasses?" And I was like, "Why would you take them down there?" I don't, but I'm sure we could do something with them. So yeah. I just texted Gavin. I was like, "Do you want a hundred shot glasses?" And he's like, "Yes, I'll blow that up." Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll store that in my shell and eventually use it. Yeah. 
Any sponsors coming yeah, up? Been great. No, we're good. Oh, we're well. done, dude. Just, you know, Laser Team, again, go see it. Just remember, movie. we made it. LaserTeamTheMovie.com. You know? LaserTeamTheMovie.com. Look, 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 look for me. You, yeah, find your tickets. I'm, and I'm, all hit, that I'm stuff. hitting in a scene. You can look for Jack's me. Jack's hitting a scene. If you don't see him in the first time, see it again there you and go. again and again until you find him. And if somebody you love dies, buy a watch. <laughs> right. How did, how did it get to the death the thing? Like, Someone was said funeral. You gotta look classy. A funeral? Yeah. You don't, you don't want to nice. look like an asshole. To you don't want to show up in fucking shorts and t-shirt. You don't want to wear some some dog on your. You never been to a beach thing. Funeral. What if funeral? that was a dead stuff? Um, I saw it in Weekend at Bernie's, but I never lived it. That was pretty okay. I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Bo Bowie and then Rickman. That's two. Those are two strong. I. Movies. It's gonna be a without rough without yeah, exaggeration. I, you think they ever fucked? Probably not. I don't think yeah. so. I, I mean, I don't know. But. Rickman was married to a lady for a really long time. No, 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 no. He was, he, well, was, he was with a lady. They were together for like They got married in 20, 2012 or whatever. Yeah. But they were together for like 42 years. And yeah. they were married for like two years secretly. I uh, mm. I saw that, uh, I guess it was just yesterday. He, he passed away. I saw that yesterday morning, and I as always get up 17 hours before Lindsay. And Lindsay she's a loves lazy shit. Rickman. She fucking, her top two, like, celeb, like, Bang mates or Go Gold Alan Bloom Rickman and, and Goldblum. So I, like, yeah, I um, read that. I read that and I was like, <sighs> Griffin's the same way. Like she's so fucking Fuck. straight for Rickman. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and she was on a plane and she got off the plane. I had to tell her. She got off the plane. I'm like, I got some bad news for you. Rickman's dead. And she was like, crushed. And I was yeah. like, oh, by the way. Uh, the school rejected Millie's science project that we already did. <laughs> and she was like, no video I'm gonna allowed. burn it down! And Rickman, we forgot about yeah, Rickman very yeah, quickly. No video That's allowed. Good. And then I got yelled at like this for like seven hours. Yeah. I'm still dealing yeah. with that. I, the lips are coming out I, of the phone. I, I, Griffin, said, you. Griffin said, she goes, you're gonna have to take care of this because if I get involved, do you know what's gonna happen? And Millie still has two semesters left at that school. <laughs> I'm gonna cut a bitch at the school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, she, we did that. She went nuclear in the do, second grade, yeah. and it was teachers rough. Fear like parent teacher day. Uh, I'm sure they do to yeah. an extent. Some parents are fucking nuts, Does, dude. My mother was. My there mother was like, Is she like chainsaw lady? Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> She's the Grim Reaper. I watched her destroy a woman in parent teacher <laughs> conference because Millie got a three instead of a four in one subject. And like it was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen. And I was just like, I was like trying to like before they give you grades, like a three yeah. is an A, a four is an A plus. Oh, okay. And Millie has had all fours or A's uh, okay. her entire life, and she got a three in one class. And Griffin was not, Griffin did not agree with the reasoning behind it, which is like the the teacher essentially said like Millie's a great student, she does perfect work, but I want her to feel like she can improve. Ah. So I gave her a lower score than she should have had. Because I want her to feel like she can work towards something. Oh, that and is Griffin horseshit. was like, and Griffin what? was like, Griffin was like, <laughs> Griffin was like, I'm going to destroy you. And for like 20 minutes, and I was like, you know, you get yeah. like, you kind of so small. You're about, you're about four inches tall. Yeah. By you get like Ryan like, uh, when he was talking about owning an iPad. It's like Gavin in a fight. You just assume the fetal position. Yeah, just drop to the floor. Yeah, the recovery position. I go into a board now. Yeah. <laughs> you plank and yeah. And uh, and she's just like, do I need to? She's like, do I need to get involved from Australia? And I'm like, no, 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 I'll get, I'll, I'll take care of it. Jesus. I'm, and like, I can oh. imagine you going up and just like hitting a button. And it's like just her on Skype. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah it's like a FaceTime. Oh, it's like, bad. I take yeah. the responsibility. Griffin for told me. If it's not going well, you're like, move to the bigger thing. Griffin Griffin told about me, the iPad. She was like, if I will burn, she told me she would burn the school down. Yeah. All right, look, you can't say she that. She was yeah, like, you can't say that. Just, you just like, saying yeah, that. but he didn't say what school. She was like, she was like, you can say that. But the school. We're find a private school. <laughs> I'm like, that's a very expensive solution to. to yeah. so the public school is really school. sad to lose your business. You do it. Uh, I think it's a lot. Yeah, it's like a twenty shit grand a year or something. Like, right, yeah. Yeah. like college, basically. Yeah. yeah, or more. It's college. For that's like that's like twenty. Really really my my college wasn't twenty grand a year. Well, good college. Yeah, yeah. Is actual college. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, well, actually, it might it might be over twenty grand now. When I was going there, it was like right before it they deregulated it all. So back in the late eighteen hundreds. You got a degree. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's one yeah. of the achievement hunter degree getters. Team what we got? Same voice, uh, the only ones with degrees. Uh, achieve, degree achievement hunter degreeers. Yeah. You got, you got Lindsay? Jack, Lindsay, Ryan. What about Jeremy? Draco's a fucking scientist. I don't think Jeremy does. Jeremy's a co an animator. I, it's, it's not a degree. Does Fuchs have one? Because Fuchs was like doing. Degree. Fuchs, has, I think Fuchs has a degree. He was like four years ahead of no, his he, age. No, I don't think he finished. finished. He didn't finish because he's like he was like Doogie. He was like the nerdy Fuchs, Doogie Fuchs Hauser. Went to yeah. high, uh, and college. Doogie Hauser was pretty nerdy. Yeah, he went to college when he was like thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, it was shocking. He, he graduated high school at four. 
Traco? Does Traco have a Isn't degree? Traco has a degree. All the, does no, no, he does. He has oh. a degree in like astrophysicist. Yeah, really? He's yeah. just wasting or his, like, astro wasting his life. Or like sci yeah. science. Well, that was, that was science. the thing since yeah. day one from, from Caden, where he's like, I went to college when I was 13. And it's like, and you ended up here? Yeah. <laughs> like, Your parents must hate you. Yeah. <laughs> it's what like, a this waste. was my life. Yeah. So I, I'm guessing they were expecting and this doctor is the or lawyer yeah. or not editor of a YouTube Video game. Good editor though. Yeah. YouTube. Video. YouTube video game. And you know, whatever. We're an hour and forty seven minutes in, Gavin. It's talking like old people now, like, you oh the YouTube get that the dude. commercials. Kate does the Nintendo really good. That Nintendo. Yeah, that Nintendo. Nintendo. That guy can that guy can watch the game comes like nobody's business. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy can. your nephew a Nintendo games this Christmas. Dude, speaking of which, do you see that fucking I know you saw it because I showed it to you. But there's that picture that I sent my nephew that she went Oh, he's like all rolled up in the blanket? Yeah, it's like no. a little baby. It's binky. It's funny because it's a baby in a blanket, and it says achievement on her. And it's also funny because it's like he's a baby, and we're like, "Fuck you, cunt!" You know, like that's achievement on her. Oh, got the baby! You got a baby. I didn't say that to my nephew. That's a baby. But and he wouldn't understand it anyways. That's fine. I'll tell him he's a cunt. But uh, it's like I'm in a blanket. That's the baby that everyone thought was mine and Lindsay's. Too, yeah, yeah. Right? I tweeted a picture of it. it over I, it's, it, treat kids like adults. I mean, I don't call Millie a cunt. Yeah, but I'm. <laughs> You know, I've come I mean, close. you got her a blanket. She has, yeah, a, blanket. She has a blanket. Yeah. You, make, you make her drive herself to school. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure about that? I call her an asshole all you the time. You call her like retarded. I've never called her retarded. I've I remember never when she was like being a kid, like swinging on a railing in London, and yeah. you're like, really, hey, stop being a prick. Let's go." <laughs> <laughs> and all the English parents were like, <gasps> "With their prams." Yeah, with their prams. Your your not not so much behavior, just in general of Millie. Your your current thing is just like she's such an asshole. She can be because an of asshole. you. Yeah, uh, she can be. Like, I don't know what happened. It's like yeah, look like, at oh. you. <laughs> so, Jesus, she's just so sarcastic. I just it's didn't like, think it, like, she was listening. It's Millie like, and I had a moment two days ago. Like I, Griffin's been gone, right? So we had a moment having a conversation, gone. and we were. <laughs> it's exactly right. And uh, I was like. So we had one, we had an always person. we had an always sunny moment where yeah. like when the gang buys a boat uh -huh. we're like I, we were both like I'm like are you I'm, I can't even <laughs> tell am I, are you being sarcastic to me and she's like I don't know are you being sarcastic to me and I'm like I don't know and I'm like I couldn't tell if we were fighting and she couldn't tell and we we're both just like we were just assholing each other and for no reason and we couldn't we we were like we called a truce. I'm just like, <laughs> I was just like, I've that's lost, amazing. I was like, I've lost the like, thread, and she's like, I don't, I yeah, let's just. That's like, watch I, I she's only ten. Yeah, I could take a mirror and just yeah. be like, hey Jeff, here's Millie, and just put it right in front of him, and be like, God damn it, Millie, and it's like you are <laughs> the up, same man? person. Like it's it's well, shocking. According, according to Xbox VR. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> exactly that's, like that's all awesome. the true. all of the terrible stuff that you did as a like a younger person. I hope she like, doesn't do any of that. If she does it though, do you even have the right to be mad? No. No, but I can be. I can be. A He's hypocrite. gonna be. No. Yeah. He's gonna be mad. No, I'll be like this. Right I'll be like, right I'll right be like God damn it, Millie, and then she'll leave. I go. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Like Look when you're you. like winging rocks at a security guard or something. <laughs> once. <laughs> Jesus. I fucking. Is, is that, is that Millie? Out of a, is that Millie throwing rocks on I-35? I, I, uh, I got kicked out of a. I don't think she. I don't think she do it. But uh, I did get yeah. kicked out of a Taco Bell time. on the drag because I threw. A, he was pretty bad. I threw a burrito at a security guard and hit him in the face. But why? Uh, he told us to keep it down. <laughs> you asshole. That was, that was, I was a bad person when I was a kid. How old were like, you when you did that? 19? Wow, kid, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> yeah. That's not, you're not a kid at 19. Fucking 19, throwing burritos. That's like 14, Jeff. Jesus you're Christ. You're a little past the age of I mean, that you're going to get a burrito. <laughs> I don't like what most 19 year old people do. I, 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 I'm a sophomore in college just whipping burritos. <laughs> I don't say I'm in the army. Fuck you. <laughs> I didn't say I was proud of it. I just said it happened. I acknowledge that I. You know, I made I did things learned. I did things the wrong way, so hopefully Millie doesn't. All right. Have did, to. So did you exit that building on your feet or on your face, <laughs> or, uh, th or through a window? So, <laughs> fucking stormtroopers hey, are over there. The I'm just a So. <laughs> So I, it, uh, I think what Kidding. I did was I, I challenged him to a fight and he restrained himself and then I left like I'm a tough guy. Like did, so no, was he one of the security guards that had a gun or was he, he didn't just have like mace? Does any security guard ever have a gun? No, I've yeah. never yeah. seen yeah. a security guard with yeah. a gun. Hey, yeah. yeah. guess who wasn't? Oh shit, it's Urban Fugs. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Lean in so your head is on camera. Yeah. He's on. So Katie, you were seven. When I you was, graduated high school? I was, uh, let's see, when I graduated high school, yeah. I was doing high school and college at the same time. So when did you graduate high school? Uh, 13. <laughs> what went wrong? 
Yeah, so why are you? We should, we should say for our uh, <laughs> people who don't. Like, Everybody typically here, you make exactly it into high wrong. school at thirteen. Like 13, 14 is freshman year, right? Yeah, 13, or no, no, 14, 15, 15, 15 is freshman 15. year. 15. Yeah, I was so, fifteen when I was in. Yeah, yeah, because sophomore year you, you can drive and you turn sixteen when you're. Well, I guess I was fourteen. So. I was so seventeen. Did you drive when I like ten. I was ten. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I had a scooter. I had the summer birthday. Oh no! I had a scooter. <laughs> you still had it. We had a scooter. The scooter we got hired here. Yeah, yeah. It was a different scooter. So do you have a college degree? Yeah. You, you do. do. Yeah. What yeah. year did you graduate college? What year did I get? No, I don't care what year. How old were you? I was, uh... Let's get it away from how I used to be a piece of shit. <laughs> when I was a yeah, yeah. How old were you when you yeah. graduated college? He was out I of was college. Maybe three months shy of turning fifteen. Oh fuck! Well, what was your degree in? What the hell? Um, and it from was, where? It's it was from uh, CSN College of Southern Nevada. I was going to go to UNLV, but that school sucks. So okay. I decided not. And to. What, what's the degree in? They don't take uh, enough thirteen-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, originally, it was going to be for uh, business finance and management. Jesus. So when all of your college friends were like. You know, I'm gonna go out, slay some puss. Were you just like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> is that? Is that like a Tamagotchi? Also, Gavin, <laughs> Gavin, I think you might be exaggerating when you say all your college friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was, it was like, as, um, soon as, as soon as I came on and you said Doogie, that blue. was actually my nickname. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Nice. What was your nickname? Doogie. Oh, I was, I was, I was 13, I was walking around, I was like, College kids, like yeah. I'm College kids are very creative. It wasn't. No, they're not yeah, very yeah. smart. It wasn't yeah. puss slayer. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, not quite. So you graduated almost at fifteen. Yes. And your degree is I don't care what it was gonna be and what was it actually in. Uh, it's basically uh, it was in mathematics and education. <laughs> Wow. You should have been like a teacher. Yeah, and what did you, you do? You could have gone back and really, been teaching really, your high school. What did you school? do when you turned sixteen? Uh, he retired. <laughs> then he I, got a job when he was nineteen. Then he retired. Then he got a job here. Well. I started talking to you guys when I was seventeen. So a year later, I started talking to you guys. Well, you already married. Oh, we really, you know, we, we, it really, you really did go downhill because of us. Immediately. Yeah. Like wow. immediately. Oh, you destroyed a lot of lives. You for a. We didn't go for. He could be like the next Elon Musk. Like he could add us on Mars by now. He was on track to have. He's editing. Let's he was play. on track to have four PhDs by now. Yeah. Instead, he. <laughs> Yeah, he could have been on Mars instead of editing Galacticrop. Yeah, it could have been Doctor Fugs. Paging Dr. Fugs. <laughs> I'd tell you this though, like I don't know if it's with the outfit, you know, like if it came with it. Uh, it smells really nice. No. Can Urban you, Ryan, food. Can you smell yeah, it from He's got the I spray. <laughs> oh God! Oh. It's overpowered it's like, still by this shit. <laughs> it's like what? What is that? By day, Dirt. editor. Uh, by diet, night, Dirt. Dirt. Diet, Diet, Diet Coke and Scotch whiskey. You keep saying Pete. I realize Pete is moss. Moss is worse than dirt, right? No, Pete, is moss? Pete is he from is... Pete and Pete. Yeah. He's got Which the tattoo on his arm. He makes the old man dance. Not Danny Tamborelli, the other kid who's. Really, it's all just. Dirt. But Danny it's Tamborelli awesome. was fucking fantastic in GTA 5. Also, right, everything's dirt. We're all from dirt, right? I, no, well, no, we're not, we're not Wait, from dirt. Well, I mean, no, we food comes out of the damn But ground. we're not food. No, yeah. we're not food. No, we're not dirt. Yeah. Oh, for somebody who might no. be. We're, 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 not, dirt. we're not we're, from dirt. We don't come from dirt. There's no dirt, dirt involved. Everything comes out of the ground. No, we don't! No, we come out of other people! We eat that stuff! I know, but we don't. What's the percentage of sun to dirt ratio per person? Sun on the dirt makes food. We eat sun on the dirt. Jeff, on the humans are Look, we're all dirt. Look, Sun on the dirt some makes elements food. of what you're saying that is true. I think we just got to get the elements is true, or they are true. <laughs> God damn! Wow, right. this is chaos. <laughs> Sun this on the dirt has, makes food. Sun this plus is dirt good, equals food. That's a good one. Food. I hold no, you to a higher standard. Things. I hold you to a higher I'm standard. I'm playing in my head. I didn't say anything wait, wrong. What's wait, your problem? Let's go back to it. You, were, you said can. some of the elements is true. Are. You didn't say are. You said is. You said, you said is. is. That's why oh, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> it's only because I respect you more and I hold you to a higher standard than these idiots. So when you fail, it hurts me. You just called Thug's an idiot? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I did it all, and he squandered it for this. You were never gonna be <laughs> it's him. All you never I'll had never that in you. Level. These two didn't either, right? Wait, wait, wait. Which two? Wait. You guys. What? Wait, wait I'm confused. What? Wait, wait, I'm not gonna be the fucking electrician and the idiot. What about it? You were wait, never gonna be a fool. I have a degree in film. No, I know. I know. I know. That. It's not a real degree. <laughs> See Jeff, I see I did like you, you actually I does just, have a point. I didn't try. Really great. I, I, I didn't try I at all. I graduated high school too. and I quit. What were you gonna do with your degree? I'm, 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 I'm so proud that you did yeah, graduate really? high school. Yeah. You thought you were gonna make movies with a film degree? Yes. Mm. No. You what? Don't make, you don't make movies with a <laughs> film degree. I'm with Flux. Yes, you want. No. What degree do you make movies with? No if degree! I, no degree! There's no degree you that you make movies You take the money with. you were gonna spend You're on an education, you make movies. I, and you I, make a movie! I learned how to edit when I was in college. I learned it from taking You can classes. edit a movie? Yes! You learn all the aspects movie. of editing movies! Do you know how much movie. equipment costs? You go to college, you, get, you can use the equipment from the school to make yeah, movies! Damn it, you damn get it. practice! God damn it! Where's the movie?
movie. It's true. He's got a point. Uh, ah, exactly. But he did get. I did the intro for the. Uh, <laughs> the thing. But yeah. Gavin yeah. shot it. He couldn't even get in the laser team. <laughs> sure. I'm in the latest team of laser team. Find Go it. see laser team movie. Laser team movie at movie.com. You did. That's get, my name. You did get licked <laughs> though by a stripper. Oh yeah, that true. happened. Yeah, yeah. That happened. Yeah, I got, I got to be. I was. I was, I was a PA in craft service on some films. <laughs> Paid really well, but anyway. So it's on my IMDb I like page. If Jack is attached to a film, food's involved. <laughs> <laughs> the food's serving good. food. Food's serving good. Food. It was real good on Laser Team. I actually was a little sad when it ended because somebody cooked dinner for me every single day. Are you bored, Ryan? Yeah, Ryan's Ryan's lost his mojo. <laughs> Drink another Diet Coke. You'll be fine. That was so what are we filming after this? That was why. Mm. Uh, so we gotta we do the NHL draft. We gotta do the NHL draft. Plapes. And then I found a fucking excellent plates. For me and Gavin. I liked your uh, I'll, uh, touching your dad's dick video. Yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll tell yeah, everyone what it is. Name, but it was, uh, it I played that was, with Funhouse. Uh, Should we re- rename it? Washing with your dad or some shit? Shower, Shower with, with your dad. dad. Shower yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the, the video we're dad. gonna play is called Emily Wants to Play. Ooh, oh. that's a good game. You're not gonna do that Let's dragon you play cancer? It, folks? Yeah, I play it. Oh, By the way, folks, did you like the additional games I added to your game list this week? And Yeah, other people seem to like them too. You're yeah. the first person to actually add uh, fictional games. I have yeah. never added a fictional game. I was bored of the actual game list, which is nonsense, so I added extra nonsense between the games. After about six of weeks of taking over Awu's game <laughs> list, Jeff asked me, how many of these are bullshit, and how many of these are real? I'm like, no, 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 all of these are real. It's like, you've never slipped any past. <laughs> I still don't believe it. Nope. Really? Never slipped any past. Not once. Not Caden's one Quest, time. that was a real game? Yeah. Come on. Fugzar <laughs> the Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? It's magic. This is fucking incredible. Have you ever seen this, this before? No, that I've fucking never... this right here. That's, that's like a, a that's an eighth grade let me, magic this trick. Is, this let, is a film degree at work. Let me that ask. Is. Also, <laughs> nah, nah, this is, I can also if we have a pen, I can spin a pen. This is amazing. This is it's all gonna come around to me first moving to Austin. Did Jack do this? You yeah, did this. Yeah, yeah. So the other thing I learned from Jack as he taught me was like a staple of Austin was one of the first or second times I went to Whataburger. If you eat. In the restaurant, you know, they give you that little triangle card. That oh, has a shit. On it. oh, yeah. And Jack's like, this is how it works. This is what you do with this thing. He's like, you push it, and it's like basically it becomes a spring, and you can like push down on it and flick it. So the thing flips over and then lands right side up. And he's like, that's all you do. Like high school yep. kids, that's what you, do. that's what you do. Dude, and then I explain that to Jeff, and Jeff's like, fucking losers do that. <laughs> no, it's like, I, it's just for Jack. Oh, oh God damn it. <laughs> I will, I saw, let's go to Whataburger and see one of those. And I was like, totally that's all I'm gonna do. Dude, we will have it. Well, we won't, but maybe, maybe, maybe Jeff or Ryan will steal one thing. and bring it that's to Australia. You want me to fly one to speaking Australia? Of, it's this big! Speaking of awesome little parlor tricks like that, yeah, Millie and I were watching Ridiculous this last night, because we watch it without Ridiculousness, I love that show. I hope I am on it one day. Yeah, and I hope he's never on it. Uh, we were watching Ridiculous this last night, and there was this girl who had like a, a booty, as they say. But mm-hmm. and she took a red solo cup and she had it on her ass, and she was able to flip the, the it, drink cup, and have it do a full flip she and flip, then land. She flipped a her ass. So she could do she did a Philadelphia with her butt. Do you wow. think she could do ten in a row, like D? Uh, no. But <laughs> no? she did like two or three a million hour both. That's like. not bad. What? Remember, and it's funny because I I'll circle back to ridiculousness. I showed you. For a second, right after I got back from New Jersey for the holidays, we were doing an awu, and I showed you a picture of a snake for a second, mm-hmm. you know, blah, 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 on awu. I was telling my brother about that episode of ridiculousness when, because my brother has a bunch of snakes, and he had one with him because he's got like a mouth infection. So he, like, your brother well, has a mouth so infection. Your, your my brother has an infected snake around with him. Well, he had to bring it with him because he had to give medicine to him because he was sick. So Clearly. a bunch of times I had to help just him like Just give the medicine hold... to a mouse and then throw the mouse in there. Well, you can't do that when you're in New Jersey. Dude, that is fucking brilliant, right? <laughs> that is smart. I don't think just that's how it works. Oh, that's it's the mouse. If, the, it's not if, that mouse, if he can't eat, if, he's, if his mouth is infected, he can't eat it. He'd swallow nah, it. Nah, he'd still eat it. Yeah, though the medicine is Listen, for his mouth. Listen, you're not college really fugs anymore, all right? <laughs> yeah. Just rub the mouse in it. But I showed him that clip that we once saw in Ridiculousness of that guy with taking a bath with two of the snakes and he's the, he's kissing them, and I thought of you. So then it's it's funny. Jeff is so fucking put off by snakes. It freaks him out so much. I took a ton of pictures of my brother's snake and I even filmed some video. And I was like, I'm gonna show this to Jeff. He's gonna freak out. And my brother's like, Oh, did you send that to him? I'm like, No, nah, I'm not sending it to him. He's like, why don't you send it to him? I was like, I, I can't. I don't know where he is. You know, he could be like in the middle of something, in the middle of driving. I'm gonna send him a picture of a snake, and he's gonna fucking crash in the tree. <laughs> so I was like, I, I was like, I know Jeff well enough to know he dislikes snakes so much. I'll show it to him in person, but I won't send him one. So that was why in that I was like, hey, check it out. And he's like, 
I, it was good. I have so much. I have a video of like a 30 second video of him putting a needle in the snake and injecting it while I'm filming his head, like waiting oh. for him to like strike. Like maybe it'll bite me. I don't so know. Is it like shooting down his throat? No, 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 it's not. He he had to put like uh, cotton swabs of shit in his mouth, but then the needle is just like halfway through his body. Uh, and he I'll... actually got way more pissed about the cotton swabs. We did it like four times while I was there. The last day, my brother really went in because he's like, to, to him, he said it didn't look like the infection was going down. So he really like swabbed his mouth and the snake was like, fuck you. Like he was flailing all over the place. Didn't give a fuck about the needle. With that cotton swab, he was having a fit. Animals never know when you're trying to help them. Yeah, well, yeah, my, yeah. my brother is like, fucking idiot. Idiot, I'm helping you. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. And he's yeah. like, hang on, let me take him over here for a minute. And he like walks away and the snake's just going like this. Yeah, my, my, arms, my cat got an indro nail where his his nail actually grew back into his own pad. Yeah, and he was, like, that bleeding. sucks. My brother and, had that yeah. growing up and it was just as disgusting. Yeah, and I was just like, I'm like trying to clip it and my cat's biting my hand. I'm like, I'm fucking helping you, and he's just biting my, my hand. My cat did so. that, he got he got his claws stuck through the welcome mat, so he spent the day like walking around with a mat attached to him. I came home and I was like, like let me get that off. And he was like, I was like, do you want the mat on you? <laughs> Forever, so, I'll leave like it. This? On Ridiculousness last night, uh, Brooks Whelan was the guest. It was from like two seasons ago. And he has a snake thing too, so they showed him a bunch of snake clips, which were terrible. One of them was a dude trying to get a snake to bite him in the face. Did he do it? What? And he did, and the snake bit him in the face. He was Australian, of course. And he was like, oh, he's oh. Like, he's a And uh, it got him like, right here in the cheek. It fucked me up so bad, I had to sleep on the sofa last night. <laughs> because <laughs> wait, my wait. bedroom is upstairs. And when Griffin's gone, I get scared of ghosts to begin with. Uh, I could see- NAH! Look! Look, he's giving it a nah. shot. Oh, look how long that nah. thing is. That's actually his, like, smallest- Almost smash your fucking phone! That's, like, the smallest thing he owns. Snakes? Wow. Yeah. That is a big I think snake. this one is a- I got convinced. A boa constrictor? Because I could, I could see my bathroom sure. from my bed. Like, you, I got convinced. Too, ah! I got convinced that the that a snake would come out of the toilet and bite me if I fell asleep. So you I slept. Down Dude, I, you're, hey, Jack. yeah, but I, I shut that door and I can't see it from the sofa. <laughs> and I'm closer to Millie, and Millie's a human and she can protect me. So, so I slept so on Millie's this, a human. I, love I slept on the sofa me. last night because I didn't want to get bit in the face by Does a snake. Millie walk out, like tuck you in, and say, "Don't worry, <laughs> little Jeff, it'll be okay," and then like go back to her room? You like, oh, ah! head. I it's, I'm just going oh, there. Head, the head's under the table. He's like, so he's let me hiding. get it straight. Griffin, well, that thing could Griffin absolutely is, hide under your bed. Griffin's all about ghosts. She's always talking about ghosts. You're always like, yeah. Bull, bullshit. Ghosts aren't real. But the moment Griffin leaves, <laughs> you're scared of all the ghosts that you've talked shit about in the house. Yeah. I feel like the best yeah. gag gift for yeah. Jeff right now would be like a snake condom, right? What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, you know, you have a condom that makes your dick look like a snake. <laughs> I don't know, Ryan. How did you get to Ryan that? woke up and what happened? What a weirdo! Yeah. Yeah. A snake on them. Pat right. that. Pat yeah. that immediately. There you go. So to you, a we'll ghost, call them a ghost snake. <laughs> a ghost snake? Yeah, like the snake, the ghost of a that's snake. That's too much for my brain. That's too much. Yeah. I, that's too much. It doesn't even bother me because it's like that. That that those two horrors can't exist. You only really have like so much fear to have. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you've never had that like that only... sensation at night when you're like it's dark and you feel like something kind of like moving up your arm. Yeah, and you're, like, it's a, maybe it's a that's you a, can only die. It's a condom. It's a condom. <laughs> condom. No, I have not had that. He's gonna try to spook me, but it's, no. It's a I'm much more worried about a snake. You've had it before. Much, Come on. It's a no. ghost stick. Like, I'm much more worried air. about a snake coming out of the toilet, coming into like, the bed. That's much more worried about a snake goes out of the toilet right into your butt and through your So when, when you shit, do you like stand above the toilet <laughs> so you don't get your ass right on it? So you can No, because see. I don't shit at one in the morning when it's dark and scary. <laughs> What if you have no to matter what, it's dark and scary in the toilet when your ass is hovering yeah, over exactly. blocking all the light. If the lights are on and it's not too you late, the, light. Light. Yeah, I mean, the lights are on any well, time of the day. On it. Jeff. He's blocking all the light. You turn the light on at 1 a.m. Do you need a light inside of your toilet, just like the refrigerator? Yeah, but I'm not going to sleep. Up, with the, I'm not going to go to sleep idea. with the bathroom light on right. because I'm scared. Because I want to look out for snakes. You're no. a big boy. I'd rather sleep busy. downstairs on the sofa, <laughs> <laughs> close to Millie and the dog who can protect me. And to be fair, you're also closer to the freezer, which has a bottle of vodka in it. My uh, <laughs> when, true, one of the one of the days <laughs> when we were gonna, because um, my brother has a basement, and we were giving the snake its shots in the basement, and I have two young nephews who are eight and five, and one day we were telling my nephew Parker, the five year old. Like, we're gonna go give the, or actually, it was right after we gave him the shots. And we were like, Parker, Uncle Dave has the snake downstairs. And he's like, No, he doesn't. And we're like, Yeah, it's downstairs in the corner. Do you wanna come see it? Like, it's in the cage. You can come look at it. It's not gonna get you or anything. He's like, I'm gonna bring the wrecking ball. And he has like this, this toy that's like a big snake. But he literally carried it like a wrecking ball. <laughs> so this five-year-old walking down the stairs, holding it over his shoulder. So we go to the, the office where it is, and it's in the corner. It had a blanket on it with like a heat lamp and everything. So I pull the blanket off, and he's looking at it, and he like leans in over it, and he was just like, 
looking at it, and it's like, okay. <laughs> then he walk. He walks back upstairs the whole way like this over his shoulder. <laughs> he gets upstairs. He drops it. and He goes. I didn't need the wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, all right, it's good. I've never held a snake. Don't don't do it. It's uh, it's less weird than you. Yeah, it's, it's not that. It's, weird. it's, 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 it's what I'm gonna it's, do. What's weird yeah. is when it moves. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna periscope. It's like scaly, but it's not slimy at all. When it moves, you're gonna like, live stream from like, a live stream. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna live stream. Hands, I'm gonna do some weird. social media. You know, there's a live stream right there. Yeah. You're on right? Periscope. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna broadcast right now. Okay, are you a Periscope? Because We're two my phone's hours gonna, in. My phone's gonna go. Can I get a live? Can I live? We're like two hours in. Periscoping the live stream. Jeff, you you got a competing product right now. I do. Basically, if we go another. 13, 14 minutes, we break a record. What's our record? It's like 220. 220? We're yeah. definitely gonna be Are there back. any hearts? No hearts oh, yet. What the we hell? Oh, we got hearts. Don't no, worry. We, we got hearts. hearts, 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 hearts oh, we can do that either way. Oh, there we go. All right, well, no, we You could also that. just leave. There's. <laughs> what do you got What do you got going on that's so important? I'm hungry. He's hungry. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm not hungry. I'm, I've been drinking, so I can use food. Michael brought kolaches in. I had like 42. I didn't hear about it. That explains why they're not there anymore. Yeah. They're there. There's still some left. Remember when you told me to bring kolaches the other day? You're like, get kolaches, right? Jeff texts me the day yeah. beforehand and says, get kolaches. Because we had the, the uh, we, had we had some people visitors. here. Yeah, so I was like, secret visitors. I was like, all right, it's a secret. I'll get some. Do you want me to get like a million? He's like, yeah, but but don't really, don't really get a million. I was like, oh, okay. So then I buy two dozen kolaches and a dozen donuts, over a dozen donuts. I come into work. I see Jeff walking from Achievement Hunter to the bungalow, clearly not an Achievement Hunter. So I was like, I don't know where he wants these. So I text Jeff, hey, I'm here. Where do you want the kolaches? You want me to just bring them to AH? Or, you know, saying if you want some in the bungalow, bring them in the bungalow. Jeff's immediate reply is, oh, yeah, that wasn't me. That, that was Lewis. So, you know, I don't, right, I, don't, well, I don't know. And Lewis came for his shit later. Yeah, yeah it's true. He's like, oh, I, I didn't I ask for those. Lewis I don't know. walked in. He's like, oh, he brought stuff? Oh, I didn't know Jeff's about Jeff's like, that. oh, I didn't ask for those. That, I, don't know. I don't know. I the donuts and stuffs them in one yeah? box and walks what? out with them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that we're supposed to talk about Lewis yet, but all right. Well, you know, I, just, I don't, yeah, it's fine. I just mentioned it. Yeah. So, uh, it's a lot of like, people have a lot of names. Yeah, oh, I, I didn't ask for those. It's not weird until you call it out. It's funny because you did ask for it yesterday. I mean, Lewis took over for Dirk, right? Yeah, he's Dirk's friend. Yeah, Dirk is gone and Lewis is here now, so. Should we finally come clean about Dirk? No. Well, you just did. You, you, that, well, Dirk, that, Dirk that, was, fire that Dirk was Dolph Dirk. Lundgren and we were supposed to get him in the office. <laughs> oh, and man. No, 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 that, that did happen, yes. Yeah, that almost happened. We Dirk. almost had Dolph Lundgren play true. Dirk I felt for so, two seconds. I felt so bad, but. About what? What about firing Dirk? <laughs> <laughs> it was he, the he, he had it coming. He's the only achievement anyway. hunter we've ever had to fire. And what about I, Ray? <laughs> Ray quit to go work with Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, are you no? Ray's, Ray's a great. Still periscope. I'm periscope. periscoping. Yeah, what, what, what are people saying? Can is. you periscope back and we get some kind of like infinity? I could. I'm not yeah. gonna. Are there a hundred people in yet? Let me see if I can comment. Uh, 12, 1200. Broadcast too full. I can't comment. Ray was no. not fired. Ray was just a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Ray cunted of his own accord. Yeah, it's true. Um, I'm looking at me on the hey, video, yeah. but Ray I can't. Be the first. Wait, wait, put that into yeah. the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? yeah that was... I, I don't know I mean, what science is happening there. No, oh, like, oh, oh, like, he just looked right into the camera. That's like the the oddest delay. <laughs> yeah, show the screen to the camera. Oh, wait. No. Oh God! Now we're just getting it Wait, all. Wait, that at this. Gavin, your hair confused. is like white today. I just realized. It's white? Why? Is it full of jizz? You have like frosted. Yeah, it is. Tips. It is yeah, very bright. No, it's the sheen off the lights. Mm. So did you guys hear that Gavin's in the golden showers? I heard about. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Meg's in the golden showers, and I think what's Gavin's happening is them. Gavin's not into them, so she's asking Ryan. That's true. Because they were having the golden shower conversation. No, no and Gavin said I'm not into it. Meg and Ryan. That's not on a plane. Yeah, that's standard. No one gets in between them. They were like, "You flying us?" Degree right seats. there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think Jeremy's doing? I think he's editing. Yeah, yeah he's, he's got a lot going. This, right? He went to lunch. He was watching this when I left to come over here to get a free drink. It's funny because he didn't, he didn't do the podcast because he was too busy to edit. Right. And, and, he then, was he, the whole and then he just watched it. No, he watched half of it. Then he showed up for the other half. Somebody said Slotio Hybrid said he'll piss on Meg. Somebody asked why why I like Bama. I like Alabama because I'm. F I, well, I mean, I hate Alabama. Why you like Bama? I'm Is that the from, nickname for Alabama? That's the, that's Bama. The I'm well, from I didn't Alabama. Know that. Roll and tide. there's one. Th thank you, buddy. There's one thing. <laughs> there's one thing that's okay about Alabama, and that it's uh, two things. One is me, and the other one is the uh, the football team, University of Alabama. Not the college. Just the Jeremy football is team. too busy not watching movies. That's actually pretty true. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's right. making movies hey, Jeff. on the internet. Yeah, yeah. I'm broadcasting you now. Oh, oh, you no. I'm Periscope! Oh, what? Are you you wanna go to lunch? Do you wanna creatively direct this, we... these two videos? <laughs> oh, <laughs> almost seen on camera. Should we Gavin, <laughs> yeah. should we go to lunch and where should we go? <laughs> Don't say where it is, but right. just name like a type of food. <laughs> How many of these, if we got them going at the same time, would it take to create a full 3D scan of Gavin right now? Bullet oh, time. Man. Um we did it. Hmm. Probably, probably five of them. They're us. all delayed from each other, though. They're I off. wish Clemson beat Ryan, Alabama. Ryan, I'm pointing well, at you okay. and you so wish all many day hearts long are coming out. Oh. Yeah, there's there's a lot of hearts coming out. Like down here? Did Jeremy here? enjoy no, you're, stars? You're, you're close to the first one. Yeah, they're right there. All right, I'm not going to say Yeah, you're touching the hearts. This one got away from us a little. This one got They all get away from us. Yeah. It's off topic. Right? That's the thing, Gavin. Gavin, it's it's designed so they can't get away from us. How many hearts does it say that? I don't know. It's impossible. I don't have it. Some people, I'm done with Oh, here's one. Someone said Ryan can eat a dick. Hey! Hey! I have his permission. Somehow, in that five minutes, those people managed to watch 77 hours of time. Like spotted dick? Jesus. Someone said we should get barbecue, speaking of spotted dick. No, dude, I had barbecue yesterday. Yeah, we had barbecue yesterday. I'm just saying someone said it. Yeah. It was good, though. It was good as dicks. You guys had barbecue? Yeah, oh, that's right. You didn't show oh, yeah, up. Yeah, you weren't there. As usual. You almost didn't show up. Where were you? Yeah. Well, that was nothing to me. <laughs> what was your meeting about? Not having barbecue. I don't know. I had like five yesterday. It could have been any of those. I had like five meetings yesterday. I still went to barbecue. No. <laughs> we we need. What was what was that meeting well, about? The anti barbecue meeting about? I don't know. No. Well, sounds really, like it, sounds like it really sunk there. in. Yeah, I bet you were super productive. You were yeah. a critical part of it. Super that important. Yeah. <laughs> that smug little shit face right there. Little shit. That's you. What are the three X's for? Does that are those people you've killed? Yes. <laughs> God, you're <laughs> pale. Yes, very well, pale. Well, that's not fair to compare to you. Whoa! Whoa! So all right, right. it's more me is uh, is an accurate yeah. comparison. You're yeah. always you're God, always dude. brown. You can white balance off of Caden. Yes, you yeah. can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I grew up in I grew up in Vegas, so it was 120 degrees. It's so it's either go outside and burn to death or stay inside. So you I became pale. Just got a slight tan. No, I don't. I mean, that doesn't <laughs> last for life. I don't tan. Though. Yeah. So you, you graduated from college that. at 15, you're like super smart, and you li lived in Vegas. Yeah. Shouldn't you be, and you had a math degree, shouldn't right. you be like... Why did you go to MIT? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I mean, the only thing I learned in Vegas that was useful, I learned to count cards. Well, well, well that's why you that? yeah. you money. That's how you get on a list. That's but it's, exactly not a, it's not a gamble. Well, if you if you're smart, it's a system. Just do it, you just do it you one time, You need somebody else big. to watch out for you. I have nobody, I had nobody that's else. That's true, no, like, one, oh, no one has you your You have all the no. cheap money <laughs> now. Let's go film a video of you now counting cards. Now they want to get rich Now they know. But it doesn't matter. They won't know until after the fact. All of achievement is up at the table and folks is just in the corner They'll never know. Let's do that. Dude, we can systematically plan it. Right here, right there. Like, of our money. No, 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 but listen, it's all our money, right? Like, we start with what's a pool. The, what's the listen, ceiling? listen, we start with a pool of like 10 grand between all five of us. We all get two grand. We all lose our money while Caden makes like a hundred thousand dollars. And let's be from honest, us. never would you Not look at us. The, never we would you look at the five money. of us and think we lose two thousand, he wins a hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Jeff and Caden are yeah, friends. Yeah, clearly, those guys are all buddies. Like, no, there's no Gavin and Ryan, best friends. That being said, there could be like someone just walking through the casino and be like, what the fuck is achievement on a show? <laughs> Why are they all playing shut blackjack? Up. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. We're doing something. <laughs> awesome. Then we take the winnings, we buy into the next Powerball. Boom. Uh, Boom. But I want to buy a hundred thousand dollars worth of Powerball tickets. So she's all that sort of Kickstarter it's because she spent out. all her money on tickets. What's up? What? She bankrupted her family on Powerball tickets because she just figured she'd win. And Jesus. now she started a Kickstarter. Do you know how much she spent? I don't even know. Jesus oh, Christ. No. I think she's made about $700 back on the please give me money because I <laughs> spent too much on tickets. How much did she win on the what? Powerball? Probably about the same, right? 700 bucks. Goose egg. Got Oof. nothing. I heard you had a it 1 in up to 25 million, chance so. of winning something. Yeah, one in yeah. yeah. If you well, get if you get the Powerball right, I think you get like 3 bucks or something. So that's... They said know, like... One in, like that's like a 1 in 26 In addition chance. to the... Uh, Ooh, to all the big money, like... I think like 64 people were going to win a million dollars each. It's not bad. That's nice. Mm -hmm. right. Unfortunately, this lady didn't. Yeah. Mm. Well, she, she sounds like an idiot. I mean, that's, yeah. you know, that's, that's why it's called gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the name that of the episode. That's it's, why it's yeah. called it's gambling. It's a gamble. Like, who, who's dead? It's called gambling. Don't, <laughs> don't spend all your money yeah. on the lottery because you won't win for sure. <laughs> Whoops. I went to Vegas with Dan last week and uh... Vegas, baby! Oh, you still have my money, by the way. Uh, do you have change for uh, some... Do you have change for a off off? Yeah, do you have change for a thousand dollar like, bill? Yeah, All I have are thousands. Yeah. I got a thousand buck bill. Yeah. So I said to Dan, like, it's lucky if you just slop down a hundred on, like, red or something before you get to your room. It's like a trick. 
well, that's just bollocks. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah I'll do it. He, he lost a hundred bucks. And he was like, all right, now I've got to put down two hundred to make the make money it back, back, right? And uh, he kept using that mentality. He ended up a thousand in the hole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, lost, before he got to the room, he lost idiot. on roulette seven times in a row, and oh. twice it was green. It was zero. Wow. wow. What are the odds of that? Very slim. Yeah, very slim. And uh, like I felt bad. And then, or something. But, but like. Solidarity. I just went down. I put hundred on red. I won. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of it. And we used that. You snorted a. I mean, what? <laughs> That'll come yeah, out that's later. That's the worst place to say. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna leave throw, it, leave it. If you're gonna leave throw it, two leave words, it. you snorted leave is it. not a good two words to go with. No, I it. may have snorted with a hundred dollar bill that Gavin won in Vegas. There Why did I go. snort? You don't know until the video comes out. It could be anything. It could be literally anything. Like a puppy. It was rat poison. <laughs> it was rat I'm poison. dead, actually. <laughs> All right, we so did we break our record? Four right. more minutes. All right, so we gotta go. We gotta take the entire Team Hunter team to Vegas. Is there any? Are there any developers in Vegas? Well, you love Vegas. I yeah, you love, love it. Love like, Vegas. A thousand, like I, I'm went. going to Vegas in like three weeks. I'm going to Vegas yeah? next week. With Gus? No, two weeks. Yeah. Come with Gus. Was it yeah. Dice or something? Dice. Yeah, yeah Gus and I are going to Vegas. I'm, Vegas. I'm excited. Are I got you some, going? Nah. While well, you're you and this asshole are gallivanting in Australia, and then we're stuck here. But I will say, I got some sweet laser team stuff with Gus. Oh, we're yeah. laser yeah. team screening buddies. You're going with Gus? Yeah, your ass is by yourself. I'm with Gus. Gus That's isn't awesome. going to Australia with me. No, no, he's talking. He's talking about afterwards. Oh. Yeah. I guess, I guess, I guess you, still you'll go to Australia and I will be here by myself and then Gus will come back from Australia and then do laser teams. I, maybe he's not going to Australia, I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure he is. Oh. It's Gus. All I know is I get to hang out with Ryan for a week. Hey! hey. We're gonna drink milk. <laughs> <laughs> have a kangaroo steak. You should have a kangaroo steak. <laughs> How are those? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're a little, they're kind of tough, but they're... they're, they're I'll tell you what they are. Try yeah, they're really they're, a, they're a, what we call a gimmick. Dude, no, mm. it's bullshit. Oh, Griffin ain't one today. She did. Today. I know. It's a gimmick. I saw the vine. You just cover it in tomorrow. cheese and french fries. It's and... not really a gimmick. I mean, I mean it's, it's like steak. A, you yeah, eat it's it. Steak. It's meat. No, but yeah, really Australia, Australia's the only they country. They eat it when people from out of town come. Lindsay yeah. fucking loves it. Anytime yeah. That bitch like, ate it like four times. Hi, I'm from there. America. Is she just, like, here's the kangaroo. cuter the animal is, does she just like to eat it more? No, no I mean, kangaroos like, are like the cows of Australia. They're, they're not even like cows. They're, they're like, like fucking they're, insects. Yeah, they're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. We drove, we drove to uh, Canberra from Fuck Canberra them, City. And uh, they're like, they're Gavin really likes to pee on them. Is anyone else concerned when Marcus walks by in like a murder vest? He does look like he has a cleaver. He's not going to murder Gavin. Like Marcus just walked out of grind house. Marcus, come here, come here, come here, Marcus. Marcus, show everyone what you're wearing. That's some Texas Chase on Masker Show. What are you doing? Get up in the front face of camera. He's going to die today. Good lord. He's kind of dressed up like the Mexican Elvis. And he's got scissors and someone else's license. A wallet. Yeah, there you go. Marcus built this set. Yeah, let's just say while well, oh, he's yeah. here, Marcus, thank you so much hey, for this lovely hey, set. What are you doing today, week after Marcus? Week? I'm, uh, Knock I'm, it off. I got my welding bib on today. <laughs> yeah. Are you welding? But no, I just uh, this is safety equipment I was bringing over for Tyler. I just look like a badass. Is Tyler guy. welding today? <laughs> no, I think he's going to be dealing with some uh, some stuff, and he might need a little. <laughs> Jesus stuff. Christ! All right, stuff. Oh, Jesus. it's that is so dangerous we can't legally say. Yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't want to blow the surprise. All right, no, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, sure, something fun. That you might need this for. But, yeah. But, yeah, it's yeah, murder, no, basically. Right, you know, this is just so you don't get dirty. I like uh, the single pocket, the kangaroo pocket. I'm happy. Yeah. I, I will say you don't see blood on it, which is yeah. a Yeah, it's a yeah they haven't well, done the it yet. kind of covers it up. There's, yeah. there's, no, uh, there's yeah. no amber. When you, when you it's it's actually Scotch Guarded. You don't get any blood. <laughs> it yeah. is crunchy, though. Yeah, it's, it's Scotch Guarded, so the blood just rolls right off. It never actually gets stuck to it. Yeah. Because, you know, we do a lot of this. Oh that seems gratuitous. <laughs> <a little bit>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. Sorry, I came in looking like a. Like, Texas, Texas well, that's Texas fine. We good. called you in for that. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, he usually looks top. He's usually like. A no, yeah, 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 yeah. It's very, it's, it's very you, like yeah. I make things. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but but not when he's in the middle of making something. Because then he looks like a hobo. Yeah. 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 My Every fedora. I own has paint on it, so <laughs> I don't own any nice clothes anymore. Yeah, it's um, good. You'll just have to restain this in like a week because you know. That's okay. It's it's everyone's just it's going scuffed. We got watermarks. Jack yeah. was a little bit. Jack was dripping water on it. You know what I mean? Dripling. We don't we don't want those knots to show up. Caden fugged all over Kaden, it. Caden yeah. was just like leaning over it. So I feel like there's some sort of something here that needs to be cleaned off. You can't really hurt the thing. I mean, it's yeah, so this is a medium. Don't right, say it. We'll try it. Yeah, we can, well, don't, don't make don't us set it on fire. Make, make your mark. It's is this is this flame retardant? 
no. Next week, Michael's gonna come <laughs> in with an axe and just chop it right in half. This is where I gotta do something while they're in fucking Australia. Australia. <laughs> you gonna burn it? Just well, burn, burn your name. You won't be shooting the show, so. Good brand. Maybe I'll burn the table. Why don't we make a big brand. We can brand. do a brand. There we go. Brand. All right. Yeah. We should you do know, that live on the podcast. Some people right? suggested yeah. like the we, Sons of Anarchy like skull in the table, but we do that. Perfect. The off-topic thing, dude. Yeah. Right in the middle. Yes. Torch it up. Yeah. And then like, so when Gavin spills his beer, it looks. Can you? Have you made a brand before? Yeah. All right. Cause I got a brand guy. I got a. All right. No. Okay. You got it. All right. I got a brand. <laughs> guy. I trust. I trust Marcus. We I trust my brand. We can figure that out. You can do anything right. with that apron. Yeah. All right. We can have it. We can have a water jet. We can do, it'd be perfect. I mean, exact. Every little. Everything. We don't want perfect. Okay. You want. You want yeah. It's got. It's got to have. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I'll make a. Okay, it can't be. It can't be perfect. That's not. All right. The style. Who's gonna do the Jackass two style? I was gonna ask you yeah, 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 to do that. Not me. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Marcus. Marcus. Uh, depends what it is. I won't do a table size branding. I'll do a little brand. A little like brand. the star? I'll do, I'll do a little one. I'll do a little one. I'll do a little brand. But what oh. if this all falls through? I'll do you a tip. On your ass. I'll do a tip. You and I, you want to do, do butt brands? Be brand I'll, do, I'll do a butt brand. Yeah. I oh, absolutely oh, totally do a butt brand. If it's if it's like the size of a stamp or like a... Postage stamp? No, I guess just notary like a stamp. stamp. I guess a notary stamp. Okay, like, so I'm I like stamp. So like, like uh, this, like the in the like the, the inside yes. circle. Yeah, like this. No like, bigger than that. Like That's this inside circle. I I do a brand that big. Okay, I'll I don't do know, that. but you could get. I'll do it if Gavin. Sure, you could. You could get the star. You at least. see the star. You, you, like you might not be able to get the microphone in it, but you could sure as shit do the star. How would that size? I wonder. Oh, probably be fine. It depends about about how the sticking in is. Slap some needles. Well, the one on Bam, he like kind of like hesitated and yeah, he got the double. He got the dick. Yeah, I don't want to. Fucking double brand. I'll be pissed. I'm getting some skin graft if I'm getting a double brand. And I got we gotta start all over again. You got a dick form. <laughs> Alright, but here's the thing. That we guy's did dead, though. we did break Not the record. Bam. No, oh, no we did? Ryan Dunn, but we broke the 220, record. 220, look at that. 223. 223 oh right there. That's like most of the day on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, more than a quarter we're, of the day. We're headed towards Jack's weight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Working your way up there. Working your way up there. Don't even get started on about that guy in the plane though. <laughs> he was big. Ugh. He was a big guy. Yeah. He was a big boy. All right, so I, I guess sat next to Ryan that whole flight. About... You did. I sure, can't sure remember. There's lovely. so many like flights. Like, I know you, you were guys next were to behind Lindsay. us. Ryan and I were next to Were you right behind us? Uh, yeah, we were right behind you. Yeah, guys, yeah. and then Gavin was off by himself, and then Jack was busy getting fucked yeah. <laughs> the whole flight. Oh. Getting vomited on and fatted on and yeah. all kinds of things. He got thumbed. He got thumbed. He mentioned the thumbing He got hardcore thumb. Yeah. You like that? You like your thumb with your TV? <laughs> All right. Should we get out of here? Yeah, we should eat, right? Yeah. Yeah, right what, like if we pass out. what if we do an intermission and then we come back for another two and then half? I would do oh, it. We do it. We do it. But uh, I think if you, if you say that, style? I think we'll leave and come back, and all of broadcast will be dead. Have you seen Hateful Eight? Slit their own throats. Have I seen it? what? Hateful Eight? No, is it good? It's okay. Have you seen have it? Have you yeah, seen yeah, the ridiculous six? I saw seventy millimeter. What do you mean it's okay? It's fucking good. Well, it's a Tarantino movie. It's not much Tarantino movie. Let's see. Or, right. <laughs> Gavin's yeah, gone. We'll be there in a second. So it's 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 like you know it's we'll it's people there, in a Gavin. room talking and it's just conversation. Like here's a scene, two people have a conversation. And it's like here's a scene, two people have a conversation. Well, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's three and a half hours, right? Yeah, it is fucking. It's three and a half hours. It's got a, it's got a ten minute intermission, at least in the 70, 70 millimeter version. So we but. lost Gavin and Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah they just left. They're both going We're, to fight over men. <laughs> 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 Gavin walked off and, and, Jack, uh, and Ryan's like, not on my watch. Who's she going to lunch with? We don't know. We don't know. They'll find uh, out in the parking lot. Oh, you got his jacket right? on. You got his jacket on. next week uh, in Australia when <laughs> Jeff, uh, Ryan, and Lindsay tell you who Meg went to lunch with. There you go. All right. Let's Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm, get out. Everybody, I'm very happy to say that our movie Laser Team is headed to theaters this January. So head over to laserteamthemovie.com to see if it's playing in your city. If it is, buy a ticket. And if it's not, we've given you the ability to set up a screening in your town through a partnership with Tug. For more details on that, go to laserteamthemovie.com. Thanks, gorgeous.
I'll make you food. What would you like? And I said, I'd like a grilled cheese. And Gavin goes, yeah, it's in the oven, right? Here, uh, do, do, do. And off he goes to the oven. And I'm like, oh, no, you don't know how to make a grilled cheese.